The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McTwat Waffle, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest homosexual that we all know and love, Mr. J.P. Happy Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> I accidentally pushed that button earlier, and I'm like, I'm giving that to J.P. today. That was beautiful. I know. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. He has just recorded his very first uh, special. And he is back in the dungeon of uh, of darkness, which is this studio, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hey, second week in a row. Yeah, dog. Oh man, you're really uh, struggling for <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not. Uh, uh, Derek is on a, I think, three-week baseball season thing. Hiatus. Hiatus. Can we say that? Yeah, we can say that. Um, And uh, (laughs) JP's on quite often. You're coming on quite often. I think we got a good, solid core of guys that we can always have come on the show. I love a good, solid core of guys. (laughs) I'm sure (laughs) you do. Uh, but yeah, so I, it's, it's kind of cool. We got a good group of guys that we can always bring on the show and have a lot of fun. And that is uh, pretty much what we do here on this show. Uh, this is a comedy podcast. If this is the very first time you've listened to the show, uh, where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. And since uh, douchebag and asshole are not here, they may not all be targeted towards me this time, which is kind of nice. Well, I've kind of shut been, up, JP. I've kind of Shush. been. Per- they made Shush. me promise to. to- Hold the torch. Break the fucking promise. But this but is yeah, also... I've broken promises before. <laughs> I know you have. Just the tip, I swear. I know. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast, if you haven't already figured that out, where we like to make, uh, you know, use foul language and make a lot of people really uncomfortable. Fuck by, yeah. Yeah, and offend the shit out of them. So and if they it, don't like it, fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, that's right. Cunts. If you got thin skin, you're in the wrong spot. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks, bye. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a fun episode today. I, I kind of made that decision. I am not running on all cylinders. And so... This is going to be kind of a... <laughs> you only had four to begin with, oh, so that's not good. Oh, I know. But uh, no, we're going to have a lot of fun. We do have some current events to go over. I know that these guys... JP's kind of a sports guy. He's into the hockey. Uh, Love me some hockey. That's true. I know you do. Uh, but uh, we're going to have some fun with other stuff, like overrated, underrated. Love that guy. Fuck that guy. Uh, questions, preguntas, always a good draft and a shitty situation to wrap up the show. Uh, before that, we're going to start the show off with what happened to us over the last week, and we're always going to go with a very anticlimactic Mr. JP. I'm going to guess bold, smoked weed, maybe had sex, or jerked off. One of the one of those. Uh, oh, well, duh, I mean, come on, man. I, I, well, I, I think we all jerked you gotta off. you got to pick. That's not the same. Okay. Well, uh, well then I'll go had sex. <laughs> well, then you're a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It was a 50-50, and you managed to fuck it off. Uh, that's that's sort of, okay. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, but no, no did, What'd you do, though? What, did you have a good weekend? You had everything correct. I did? Except for I played some video games with a buddy. Okay, which one? Which video game are we talking here? Uh, I like sports games. I know. you NBA say sp- 2K. Okay, that's the one that you mainly play. Golf. Okay. Tiger Woods 2K23 or whatever yeah, it is? Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't do it. They just came out with a new one, but you have to have... Uh, the new Xbox the because new it didn't come out on the 360. And the new Xbox is about the same amount of money that I need to fix my car. Oh. So as soon as I get it saved up, then I'm going to go get that Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Did you, uh, have you, did you have any good food this week? I- I'm like reaching for the stars here, dog. Yeah, man, I had some food. Yeah, what did you eat? I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> Nothing exciting. <laughs> I mean, I want people well, to. Well, I the the restaurant I work at, we got a new uh, Philly cheesesteak. Oh yeah, it's it's good. Okay, well, but, I was thinking. Uh, I mean, like, that was good. I mean, like if we were gonna imagine, like, what do you think JP's daily? I went like, to you know, uh, my dad's grave. Oh well, that's good. Good uh, for you yesterday. to do that. Yeah. So. That's good. Yeah. We got to do that. Once again, yeah. this is a comedy podcast. <laughs> uh, tell oh, us some, it, more about it. your dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So he died of the diabetes. Yeah. Uh, did he finally got him? Did he have all of his appendages when he yeah, died? Yeah, he did. Uh, he did. Mm, he did. Yeah. Well, that's, so that's good. That's yeah. Surprising. That's something. Yeah. yeah I know is. you would so. think they, they would go through a phase of like, well, they took my leg first. Yeah. yeah. No. And no. then it went downhill from there. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> that's right. Sorry uh, for interrupting your sex. Man, story. I really don't know what I did. I didn't. I never. I don't do anything. I know, it sucks I'm, until I'm, we're I'm, on this show. We're right. like, we're, we're accomplishing we're doing all stuff. kinds of stuff. So I'm tell pro, me what yeah. you did. Uh, Nothing. Well, not a lot of people. I had no idea, but I had no idea that you and Mike apparently know each other from doing comedy here in the great city of Wichita, Kansas. So. Yeah, yeah, man. So, and I've gotten weed from him a couple times. <laughs> if I remember right, <laughs> that's weird. That doesn't seem like me. <laughs> he's he's one of those like guys that's not a drug dealer but he's like right. i can get you drugs I can get you drugs <laughs> but i, I mean, just don't i'm not a drug dealer no but i bet you there's a middleman price a, a small markup for um, my services not really no okay well you're cool then i try not to my guy charges me quite a bit okay like but i've known him for so you're loyal ever i'm loyal okay that, that makes sense but i don't i don't i don't like sell i'm not like a dealer so i don't really mark up yeah okay that makes sense i mean i try not to it's like, it's just favors yeah, yeah. you're favors like you like, give hey, me yeah. the 50 bucks i'll give it to the guy and right. then i'll give you and what then, the guy then, gives yeah me. right okay. i mean we'll see what happens fair enough yeah i remember when a dime bag used to cost 10 bucks am i too old for that shit no okay All what right. was that was billy madison no oh wait i was really me a dime bag. Huh? What movie yeah. is that actually from? I remember when a dime bag actually cost a dime or oh, something. Is that Grandma's Boy? Or? Maybe, maybe. It could have yeah, been. Could I don't remember Grandma's either. Boy. No, but I do. I remember that shit. Yeah, I think it was Grandma's Boy. Yeah, when I think he you are. To, yeah, <laughs> <You're> could have <laughs> been. <laughs> shit. Well, that's uh, just a whole bunch of other stuff we're going to refer back to. Speaking because, of which, <laughs> that's, I used to be, that's why I lived with my grandma when I first started selling weed. Oh, yeah? That's 360. Oh, that's, I'll be damned. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, anyways, let's uh, move She's on. She's dead, too. Oh, well, I figured as much. Yeah. Uh, diabetes? No. Oh. <laughs> no, thank God. That would suck. She would have definitely lost some limbs. <laughs> Just everybody in your family. Yeah. And you're like, we'll no, go I feel good. I feel yeah, lucky. No. JP's yeah. going to miss out next week's episode. He's getting a toe amputated. <laughs> that uh, is what it is. Yeah, I know. Uh, but how about you, Mike? Uh, news on the special. I know it's only been a week, but what all did you do? I'm going to guess Zelda. I finished Zelda. Fuck. I'm done. I'm sick of it now. Uh, really? Not no, the best game ever? No, it, it I'm not sick of it. I'm it's the previous Zelda game came out five years ago. Right. And I've started it over from the beginning probably three or four times in that span of time. So I assume that's what I'll do with this too. But oh. I, I made it through the main story and I'm like I spent like eight hours a day just sitting in my recliner being a piece of shit and I was like I gotta stop all right I beat he's, him he's making I'm, me sound good I know. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break so yeah I yeah, was fuck actually you, JP go to your job yeah do some work I'm working I've been kind of productive the last couple of days so uh, yeah yeah I feel good about that and I've got a show coming up um well I'm doing a show here in Wichita this weekend really at, at uh, barley corns I have heard of that place. and then i'm doing a show in el dorado on saturday at like the vaudeville or something like that yeah uh, me and a dude named nick allen i don't know if you know who nick allen is um he, i've heard of him he's like a radio dude in the omaha area so okay. he has like a big following in the sm in the few towns that his radio shit is syndicated in wichita oh cool so whenever we do shows around here people know who the fuck he is somehow that must be nice yeah i know i'm like come on give me <laughs> something that's syndicated so i can go play <laughs> places uh we try here mike we try I, i'm doing that and then i'm doing a, a virtual reality comedy show how in the fuck does that happen i don't know i've never done it okay. i'm going to a place uh, i forget the name of it but they are like game developers and, huh. and they've got all this vr stuff they said they have a green screen i'm going to stand in front of it with some vr shit they're going to make like a cartoon version of me and then i have to do comedy for internet people that will also be cartoons i don't know anything else beyond that i 
wish that it was a year from now because then it would be more likely that I would get to use the Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> but I'm almost positive they're not, not going to have one going. of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to have to. It'll just be cartoony and and probably weird. But whatever. <laughs> How in the fuck does this thing work? Uh, is, it, is it like a live? I mean, like, have yeah. you ever gone live on YouTube? I have, kind yeah. The During the, the coronavirus stuff, we uh, did a lot of yeah. Zoom shows and yeah. stuff. Oh, and God. Some were better than others. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Dude, that, uh, that was like one of the weirdest fucking times uh, with, with somebody who provides content like all of us. Um, I know JP was on the show uh, even back then, right? You were on the show clear back then, weren't you, during COVID? Or was it just getting over? I think it was just getting over. It's possible. Yeah. But, like, it was that weird part of our lives where, especially with content content creators, it was just odd. Luckily, our show never went, like, uh, like Zoom calls because that shit drives me nuts. Oh, I can't, yeah. It drives me absolutely nuts. And people still do it because, you know, you can have a conversation that people post on podcasts and stuff like that. And they put up. But I just I can't get it. I don't know. There's either a delay or something that just drives me nuts. So hopefully uh, it's better than that. I always I just looked at it and some another comedian explained it to me this way before I did my first one when yeah. I was nervous about it. And he was like, just like when you're doing comedy at a comedy club, everybody, if you say a joke and it's funny, everybody laughs at the exact same time. Yeah. So there's no delay or anything. OK, that's if, cool. if you're doing like a big theater or something and you tell a joke and everybody laughs, it literally comes at you in waves sure. because of the speed that sound travels, you know, science. So you have to you have to pause a little longer or you'll step on your jokes. You'll step sure. on your laughs, you know? So the guy was like, just imagine you're doing it at a theater, you know? Mm. And once you get into that mindset, you tell a joke, you pause for three seconds and then people go, ha 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 ha. And it's weird the first few times, but after a while you just get used to it, you know? And oh, well, I'm, ne I'm never used awesome. to Yeah, I'm yeah. never used good to that. Good for you for playing big theaters, man. Congratulations, <laughs> bro. I've done it's a few. You. Yeah, I good wish for you, that man. I, that's my dream in comedy. I don't want to be famous or anything. I just, just want to open for somebody else who's doing famous, theaters. Yeah. Okay. So all, cool. all I want to go up and do my 30 minutes, get, the fuck off. get off stage, yeah. go sell my T-shirts, and yeah. let the famous person get all the attention. And then okay. go home and play Zelda. And then, yeah, what and, and maybe life. maybe take a little bit of his leftovers as sure. far as ladies. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, no, he doesn't want to fuck you, but, but, my, I will. but I will. And they're like, well, I guess that's second best. <laughs> That's great. What else did I do? I trimmed my fingernails. Hey. So I need help opening pops for the next couple of days. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's I need, that's I need to do my toenails, but I... <laughs> what, what does that mean? I just... I, I, sh I trim my toenails much less often than I trim my okay. fingernails because it's just more of an ordeal. It's like you know? a raptor down there. I joke on stage that my... If, he, if he's not wearing socks and he walks into his kitchen and it clicks. <laughs> <laughs> I say my toenails are like my emotions. Like I see them for about a, two seconds every morning and then I'm like, nope, let's just cover those up. Yeah. Nobody needs to see those. Oh, God. Maybe, maybe one day I'll see if a professional can fix them. Yeah, people people who have foot fetishes are just some of the strangest people on the face of the planet to me. Uh, but anymore, uh, cutting your toenails is more like it's not. Is, is it a whole ordeal, or is it because I'm having an issue trying to be able to reach my toes in yeah, order you're to get? Fat. It's, it's just thanks, it's man. more of an ordeal because yeah. I like Asshole. to. Like You're welcome. Yeah, I, like I don't to, have any problems. I yeah. trim my fingernails after I wash the dishes because having my hands in the water for ten or fifteen <laughs> minutes softens them up enough, you know. Oh, okay. And I don't have that equivalent with my feet unless I just stand in the shower and do nothing, you know. Yeah. For so I have like a. It doesn't matter. None of this is important. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's an ordeal, is what I'm saying. Fantastic. Thanks for playing. Um, so if you're ever fucking Mike and he has socks on or socks off, you better go socks on. That's right. Oh, I'm a socks You'll end on up scratched guy. out. I'm fucking, a socks on all the time. I've had a girl call my toenails claws before <laughs> because I I scratched her. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was, it was, I mean, it was only her cornea. That was, <laughs> that was somewhat, it was traumatic enough that I purposely keep my socks on now. Cause I'm like, I don't want a girl to comment on the fact that I haven't. 
Yeah. But, you know, every when I cut them, then I have got like a couple of weeks where I'm like, hey, I don't even care. Yeah. I'll fuck a girl with no socks on now. <laughs> yeah. But not today. I, I don't ever take off my socks. I take my socks off to take a shower or swim. That's it. Yeah. I, I, I leave mine on when I swim. Do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I wa- do. Water socks or just yeah, regular no, socks? Just no, just regular just socks. Tubes. That's the worst tubes. fucking regular feeling. <laughs> worst fucking feeling on the face of the planet is the wet stripes socks. On the top. Dude, uh, old I, school 70s I don't ones. mind wearing a wet sock as much as I don't like p- trying to put on a dry sock <laughs> when, when my foot, foot is wet. Well. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's good shit. Uh, I did have a very interesting week. I don't know about you guys, but on Saturday evening, uh, the Wichita uh, metropolitan area got hit with a pretty strange storm. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, I slept through it. You slept through it. That's crazy. That was like at 10 o'clock. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, okay. I've, I've, oh, I didn't tell you about. Well, I'll, we'll talk about it after this. But okay. I had a weird sleep schedule the oh. last five days. Fantastic. Uh, but no, I was actually driving down the main highway here in Wichita, and uh, as I was driving, uh, very first time in my life this happened, the entire grid, including the highway lights and including all of the business on the side on both sides of me, it was it, gusts of like sixty to seventy mile an hour winds. Apparently, all the power was gone. So you're driving down the highway and everything all of a sudden pitch black. And the cow flies across the road. It was pretty sketchy, dog. I ain't going to lie. Like, it did look out of a scene from Twister because all the trash is being, like, I would have pulled over and gotten to a ditch. That's what you're supposed to do. No, dog. No, I got uh, I got Toto on the back of the truck. I'm going to run oh, that you're bitch. Run a yeah. bitch and right in the tornado Smart. and dive out at the last second. That's exactly right. The, Smart. the totally unscathed truck that didn't have any damage <laughs> yeah. on it. That one? That's yeah. Smart. This uh, is good thinking. But, but no, it wasn't a tornado. It was just really weird gusts of wind up to 70 miles an hour, but they came in like droves. So it was just really fucking weird. A lot of wind damage, but that was pretty trippy. Uh, but the best part is I got home. And just the grid right to, like, the south of us was out. My house, power was perfectly Same. fine until I pulled into my garage. Oh, and then, then the went power out. went out. Oh. So I couldn't close my garage. I couldn't do shit until 3.30 in the morning. You could pull the emergency hatch. Uh, you could, and I, I get store, that, you know? but I also can't sleep unless I have something on the television. Otherwise, I just sit there stewing and thinking about shit, and I can't go to sleep. So hmm. guess who slept in their truck? Ah, yeah. you just had the radio playing. Oh, or? I, I had I had my phone hooked up. The truck was running, and I had something. Couldn't on you YouTube. just play something on your phone? In my bed? Yeah. yeah. No, because it had to be the truck. No, because um, I also can't sleep with headphones in. Well, you don't need headphones. Just play it. No, because then my wife's gonna bitch about like something being. I don't know. Tell you her to put headphones the, yeah. in. Oh, you okay. gonna pick the couch? I could. I could have. But the truck. Is it's this just trippy. The new truck? Yeah, the new truck. Well, that's why. That's why. Yeah, there yeah. we go. He okay. nailed it. Right. He's like, gotta go sleep in the truck. Yep. She's yeah. like, what? It's new. <laughs> I gotta break don't? it in. No, I have to. Yeah. I was kind of scared of hail and stuff like that, too. So uh, you said you had something to talk about. <laughs> oh, I, What were you going to do? Jump out of the truck I and know. start fucking swatting no, it away? I was in the garage partially. Uh, it was just the garage well, was open. Right. So mind, Yeah, I had the gun in the truck and we're ready yeah. for somebody to try okay, come yeah. and try to steal some Ready for hail to try to Yeah, I fucking dare you. Dare you to hit <laughs> fucking <us>. hail. <laughs> it's deadly, man. But uh, no, I yeah. didn't do. I just uh, on what's today, Monday, like Thursday at like four in the afternoon. I was like, I'm going to because I was supposed to go do something Thursday night. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to lay down on the couch. I'm going to set a timer for an hour from now. And then I'll get up and do my thing. Lay down at four. Must have just turned the timer off in my sleep. Woke up at like one o'clock in the morning. Oh, good. And I was like, all right, well, there's my fucking eight, nine hours or whatever. <laughs> so then I just stayed up all night long Friday and then took a nap at like 11 and then slept until like 5 p.m. And you then was up until crazy. one in the morning. And so I just had like five days of not going to sleep at night and waking up in the morning. And uh, yeah, even today, I I took a nap. You're fucking crazy. In preparation dude. for this. Can't do that shit. No way. No how. Oh, That's I too love much it. Hours. Um, I also got to, uh, I had a lot of golf, naturally. I know all of you guys are really surprised and shocked to see it, but I have, 
I have taken on this new addiction, and it's now getting to a whole new level. I uh, went and played on Saturday uh, with the guys. It was uh, the day before Father's Day, so I got to go hang out with the guys. Had a good good round. It was not great, but it was okay. But then went to the Wichita Open, which is a golf tournament we have here in Wichita. Seeing a whole bunch of uh, guys. It's called. It's all like the Corn Fairy, like tour yeah that's what it's called surprise jp wasn't there yeah bunch of good I'm the golfers. mascot yeah no shit um but <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. around on the ninth green no on the 17th 17th where is it, where is where the party's at it's yeah. a par three and they have caddy races and shit just like at the waste management uh tournament but um it was just strange I, I i don't drink alcohol anymore and it's just not as fun so i walked uh i think 11 through 18 following another player and it was uh, it was a lot of fun, uh, and then today uh, we, we get to finally record on a Monday. I love recording on Mondays because it gives me a little bit more time, um, and it's a lot more I don't know uh, schedule friendly. So I'm not beating the shit out of me, but I am dog ass tired today. I fucking played another scramble. We got second to a bunch of fat fucks that there's no way in hell they won. Absolutely none. These guys just show up to tournaments. I, sh- I shit you not. These eastbound and down looking motherfuckers show up to tournaments and fake their goddamn scorecard. We had a pro on our team. He was an actual retired pro. Me, who's okay, and then two other golfers that are better than me. Was he on the pro tour or was he a touring pro? He was on the pro tour. He's from Wichita. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he he's Woods. very was good. It, is it Tiger? No, Woods? it's not Tiger. It's Tiger, not Tiger, 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 Tiger Woods. Tell, Woods. Us, tell us if it's tell us Tiger. If it's Tiger. I learned a lot from Tiger. Yeah. Um, but no, it was not him. But Damn still, it. we were. We our team was stacked, and 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 compared to the and competition. Then there was you. <laughs> So what's the scoring like? It's just w- tell us what score you got. Oh, sure. Uh, we, we shot a, a 19 under. But I mean, like when those guys are keeping score, are they just like writing it down and using oh, yeah. the honor system? Exactly. And it's they're totally, like, nope, birdie on every one. Exactly. And you're like, bullshit. I know. And we had we had pros and we we parred a, a par three. Like we, we were you honest. two of them. What? You said you had a pro. Now you have pros. Plural. No, we had a pro. And then you just said we had pros. Well, we Plural. had a pro. We had a pro on our team. You don't count yourself? Oh, no. I'm not a pro. I'm still learning, dog. You're I know. A pro I'm, to I'm me, getting dude. I'm, to I'm, me, too. I like the way you handle my balls. Oh, you play you, you play golf with me? Absolutely. But no, I don't know how to. I don't even know how to play with myself, dog. I have to have mm. my wife to do that. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it's just. Maybe your shaft <laughs> needs adjusted. <laughs> oh, maybe. Uh, maybe yeah. it's extended. No, but it's, it's fucking ridiculous. And now there's like a whole bunch of TikTok videos of people that they're like, people are losing their shit going up. Like, come the fuck on. No, you didn't, but I don't know. And then I get to go to work and then come home, do the show. So I am dog ass tired. And that's just, uh, yeah, that's, that's been my week thunderstorm and golf. So it is what it is, man. You should have taken a four hour nap today. Like I did no fucking shit. I would have loved to sleep. I can't sleep that long, man. I just can't do it. I'd love to take a nap, but if I fell asleep for more than two hours now, I, something's like I'm sick or some shit. I can't do that. Yeah. So. I'm probably sick. <laughs> yeah. You probably I have are sickness of the mind. I'm sure you are. <laughs> oh God. I care. It's like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> But anyways, uh, that is our week, week recap. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to get to, but before we do that, I do want to give a shout out to battlecorncarepackages.com. Curtis is an awesome individual. Him and his family are trying to raise $25,000 to donate to, I believe it is pediatric cancer. Um, I believe their, uh, their gala is in August that they're trying to raise that money. So if you guys haven't yet, do us a favor, go over to battlecorncarepackages.com. Those people do uh, an excellent job uh, making care packages for kids going through all kinds of things They're like chemo and things like that that really, really sucks for them to go to. And we're ha- happy to be a partner with them and uh, ho- hoping that they can get to their goal by August. So that's coming up uh, pretty quick. So if you can go check them out, battlecorncarepackages.com. Thank you to Curtis and his family uh, for that charity in uh, J- uh, JC's honor. So we sincerely do appreciate them. Now. To the fun stuff. Uh, we got some current events we got to get to. Uh, I won't talk about too long because you know the U.S. Open was over the weekend. That's more golf, uh, but it was very entertaining. Um, uh, the, yeah. It was. Yeah, uh, so, so here's no. Okay, no, no, no bullshit. No, no in, bullshit. No incorrect. bullshit. No bullshit. I completely understand how people think golf is boring. I completely do. I like two years ago. I'm like, why the fuck are you watching golf? It's actually kind of funny. It really is kind of funny. I love it when a person playing golf uh, professionally 
hits a drive into the crowd and it hits somebody or almost hits somebody. And then there's this stupid bitch that's a volunteer working for the tournament that goes over and kind of like blocks everybody from touching the golf ball and then picks up the golf ball. Like that is an actual joy for me because you're obviously not supposed to touch it. That happened during one of the biggest tournaments, professional tournaments of the entire. And were fucking the people year. around her like no? Like yeah, there was other volunteers, and it was like, of course, it was a stupid bitch. I still that don't did care. It. I was like, <laughs> yeah, total, I still don't care. That's oh, okay. You like it? Okay. Uh, total, Keep going. Total female thing to do: go up and and start touching shit you're not supposed to touch. And not, a not just event. female, but just dumb female. Dumb female. That's the. Oh, I'm that's sorry. a different category. I meant to add that to it. I apologize. But females will think that you're just dissing all females, but just dumb bitches. Yeah, dumb bitches. Uh, but totally went up and grabbed the ball and like and just dropped it and shit. And like, what the fuck are these people doing? So that was a lot of fun. And that's why I like golf. No, it's <laughs> no, it's not that. It's other things. I people hope she get, doesn't kill herself. Uh, she might. She's probably seen herself on a lot of news clips, I don't bloopers, know lot, and I don't shit. Know a lot of people are showing it. I probably because nobody's watching golf. Probably not. That's actually a good point. What are the ratings for golf? Does do we know? Um, I like, bet you they're pretty decent. Right. It's it's like the most right <laughs> above bowling. It's the like, rising sport. It's like the 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 it, it it's having it's gaining interest right now more yeah, than any because, other sport because Saudi Arabia just pumped billions of dollars into it. Hey, we want your money. Fine. Yeah. So what? Okay, it's uh, soccer is the most watched sport, correct? Yeah, and I football. can't even talk shit on no. those guys anymore because I not, watch golf. It's not. It's football, not soccer. in the world. Yeah, football, football. 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 Oh well, football. you know what I'm saying. I'm yes. speaking for an American saying, audience. But, yeah. But he wants I'm you not to come to correctly. Fucking Brazilians come, right now. Come where they're correct. like, what? What is he saying? There's people that watch us football. in Australia. Soccer. They is do. the number one sport yeah. as far as TV viewing. Football is next. Americanized football. Yeah, is, probably. And then NASCAR. What? No, NASCAR is technically a sport, which I think is bullshit. And yeah. it's like number one. And then what else? Baseball? Uh, Basque- I would assume basketball is above baseball. Probably I, I, I right now. So. Probably right now. Hockey? See, hockey. I'm from Kansas I City. Hockey. Hockey's up there. We uh, yeah. we never had a professional hockey team in Kansas City, so I never really got into it. Which we makes had, no sense. We had like a minor league team that I would win free tickets to on the radio sometimes. Oh, but, okay. But, uh, <laughs> and then he would sell them for a profit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, so he never did get to go. Tickets. No, nobody. They had piles of yeah, them. Dude. Nobody they, wanted those. I tried. They were like, please come <laughs> yeah. and please just buy one hot dog <laughs> while you're here. We got to make money somehow. <laughs> That's so fucking sad, but true. Uh, but no, no, it's, it's a, it's a very right. It's a, it's a growing in popularity. There's a lot of people that are getting into it, but a lot of people are getting into it that suck at it. And they, they are the ones filling up the courses and uh, taking forever, and I fucking hate those people. So that's just uh, that's the case. Um, but uh, congratula- congratulations to Wyndham Clark. He ended up beating Rory, Rory McIlroy. He uh, ended up losing, so fuck that guy. Um, but we talked about this last episode. You were here, Mike, for this. The Oakland Athletics, uh, we're, we were talking about them doing a revor- reverse boycott uh, game. Yeah. They did that shit, and it was fucking genius. Was it? Oh, shit, yeah. They, I mean, now, granted, they didn't sell the bitch out, but they had 27.7 thousand. So 27.7, that's so stupid. 27,700 fans went 27. to. 27.7 thousand That's what it says. Fans. I'm like, that's stupid. Yeah. Uh, but no, probably because you typed it. Almost, no, it was yeah. a copy and paste kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, almost 28,000 uh, 28, fans showed up. They raised $30,000 and gave out over, I think it was $9,000 in shirts that just said sell they were loud they were chanting sell the team throughout the game so if twenty seven thousand seven hundred people showed up and yeah. they raised thirty thousand dollars that's pretty weak that's no, like that's a just dollar the, per person yeah. that's just on the side this is not even including tickets this is just ah. this group basically everybody raised. fucking reached in their pockets and whatever change they had they threw into uh, a they bucket they threw it to them baby <laughs> and uh, they were like we raised an extra but it, it was pretty awesome I mean like I good mean, for the fans because the other thing seems is seems like it wasn't awesome 
no, seems it really like was. it won't do any fucking good at all. Absolutely, it was. It's sticking it to the to the owner How? because he's being a piece of shit. He's still going to sell the team, or he's still going to move the team to Vegas. Yeah, but the, he, they are proving that it has nothing to do with they don't have fans. They have fans. That'll they, show them. They we'll spend the all owner. our money on the team right before they take them away. No, and, that's and not. And then the, that'll show them. No, you're, not, you're missing the point, dumbass. There's no point because the, they're trying to save the team. All right, you need to. Shh, because you're not, it's right over here. They're not head. trying to save the team? No, they're trying to get, they want him to sell a team. They he want a won't. team in Oakland. He okay. Won't. So then the t- let's magically imagine this. I'm trying to walk you through this. So so they're going to move and leave and go to Vegas. They're going to have to have an expansion team eventually. They're talking about going to so another team. So then they're going to be Exactly. They're, the they're basically team. making a point to them saying, we are a good town for a sports team. It's just this guy is being a dick. Let them go to Vegas, but keep a team here in Oakland is what they're trying to say. And I think it's a smart thing to do because after after the A's leave Oakland, they have the Warriors and they're kind of they're across the bay, so they're not even technically in Oakland. So I think it's great. I like I like what they did. I think it's really really smart. And my hats off to all those Oakland Athletic fans He's out there. Passionate. I know that's what I would. That was the look I was giving you. Was like, just let him have this. He's really passionate. Don't yeah, shit on it. Let him move on to the next. I subject. think I get. I like. I think I. I let. <laughs> I still kind of want to shit on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, go for it. You can. I did. You'll be wrong. No, right. Of course. I mean, it's true. I know. Okay. It's okay. I don't mind. Uh, but yeah, good for them in Oakland for that. Uh, oh, here's a fun fact. Uh, Michael Jordan ends up selling his uh, share in the uh, Charlotte Hornets. Did you see that? Yeah, I did hear about that. He, yeah, he bought them in 2010, I believe. He sure did. I think he only paid like 275 mil for him back then. <laughs> that's a pretty good, pretty good guess. Man, what did he sell it for? <laughs> I don't know. What did he? What did I he be, sell? I it bet for? you it was in the billions. It was in the billions. I bet you it was. I bet you it was at least three billion. It was three billion. Oh my goodness, that's a pretty good investment Dude, for a that's shitty basketball team. A really good yeah. investment. They probably went up in value because of the uh, Apex jacket that I bought when I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. That's probably it. I was, my mom was like, "No, this is just as good as a starter jacket." And it's I was like, pass. "All right." So can I can I ask you guys a real question? This is this is being totally serious. Would you want to party with Michael Jordan? Party? No, yeah, like like here's like, like do you, cocaine? Oh, no, no, like do a one on one party. Just, just cocaine. Best friends with Michael Jordan for Fucking a day. Cocaine and poker. Yeah. Uh, really? Oh, sure. I mean, you would probably get along with him because of the poker. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Oh, I'd get along with him because I'm dope as fuck. Well, that's that's Michael Jordan. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Of course he would love me. I've heard stories of him being an asshole nah, and uh, being kind of intimidating. Just, I usually mm. get along well with assholes yeah, because I don't true. really like to talk to people that much anyway. That's so just true. I'm good at like sitting silently with an asshole, and then that makes them want to talk to me because they're like, what, this guy doesn't even want to fucking talk to me? Perfect. Right. <laughs> And then he's like, so then he'll start being the way that I should be with Michael Jordan, which is like, so, hey, man, like, I I hope you don't think I'm weird or anything, but like, you're just sitting there silently. And I'm like, no, dude, I'm cool. It's fine, Mike. Don't worry about it. I I thought of a good draft. Um, Uh All right. uh, Which sports hero (laughs) spend a day with? Not quite yet. Uh, It's going to get good here, folks. (laughs) Maybe. Uh, Deion Sanders may lose his left foot due to a circulation issue. Diabetes. Are you related to him? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. We uh, don't lose our limbs. Oh, damn it. Uh, but anyways, he may lose his left foot due to a circulation <sighs> it's issue. It's going to make it tough for him to come back. That forced him to have two toes amputated back in 2021. Wow, I didn't even know that he had that. Yeah, he has eight toes. Man, mm. I can't. Uh, less, finger, less toenails to clip. <laughs> no shit. That is true, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> He's, pros and cons. I, I think suppose. he's probably athletic enough to reach his toes, though. You yeah, think? Probably. probably. I mean, yeah. probably not now. If you're at the point where, <laughs> well, I mean, if they amputate, then yeah, he'll be able to reach them real easy. Probably because they're just right They'll here just in his shirt pocket. on the mantle. Yeah, <laughs> I need to trim my toenails, and he pulls them out of his pocket. <laughs> that's disgusting. They still grow. It's oh, crazy. That's gross. <laughs> that's so nasty. Ah, <laughs> yuck. Well, I pray for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's doing really rough right yeah. now there in Colorado. And he shit. can buy a new foot, uh, I'm pro- sure. Probably. I bet you'll have one of those bionic feet. Fuck, yeah. He won't even have to walk. It'll do the walking on its own. Probably. Man, I can't wait for robot bodies. That's exciting. <laughs> 
That is exciting. <laughs> I mean, you know we're going to get there. Eventually. It's like the it's the natural oh, sure. evolution of technology. Oh, God. AI scares the shit out of me. Yeah, it's going to oh. be awesome. Uh, did you hear Ted Kaczynski, the, the Unabomber, died? Yep. Oh, yeah. That's the one thing he was afraid of. That's why he bombed people. Death? No, he was afraid of AI. He oh, was, yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. Back in the day, even. Oh, yeah. He, he well, saw he this Well, he knew where coming. it was going. Yeah. yeah, he saw this coming. That's why he bombed places and shit. Hmm. Fucking recluse. Uh, and lastly, um, under the refined regulations, kick returners in the NFL can now signal for a fair catch anywhere inside of their own 25-yard line and automatically receive a touchback that goes to the 25. A lot of coaches, a lot of players. What was the rule before? They don't have to catch it anymore or anything. As if soon as you, they signal, they don't have to do anything. If, no, you still have to catch it. You still have to catch it. If you call fair catch, it used to be if you called fair catch on a punt and you, let's say you you called fair catch and you caught it at the one yard line, your ass was on the one yard line. Ah, uh, okay. Anymore, if you call fair catch, it automatically goes to the 25 and you uh. catch the ball. And it used to be God, wherever you call fair catch, and if it's not right. in the end, end zone, it's not a touchback. That's where your ass is. Yeah, that's, that's well. That stupid. I don't know if I like that. I, I don't, don't like that at all. I don't like it at all. They've been doing it in college, if I remember correctly, over the last uh, last season, and um, it it's just not stupid yeah american football is being pussified just kind of like everything else like nba do you know what they're trying to do with the nba what's that where you know they want to do this playing tournament well they're if they they're going to do the playing tournament they're going to instead of playing quarters uh -huh. they're going to play to a certain score the first team to get to that amount of points wins yes i have heard this before yeah. and, and it's i can't remember what it's called it's something rule it's yeah. the blank yeah, rule yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and i know it's yeah. I can probably look it up, but they've done it in the basketball tournament, which is what w the team here does, the Aftershocks, which is all the older Wichita oh, State yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. the alumni. Yeah, they, they the, the Elam, the Elam ending is what it's called. And uh, they they get to a certain time, and once they get to that time, they it's plus like however many points, seven I think is what it is, and whoever gets to that total of whoever is winning, that way it's almost like it's a last second shot every single time. It's actually kind of cool, but mm. then I can also see why people don't like it either. So, but I'm tired of I'm tired of them trying to change the rules of games to try to make them more interesting. There has to be something that's kind of like, hey, this is this is the actual sanctity of the old fashionedness of this sport that we all really appreciate and love. This is also why basketball sucks now. In the '90s, it was great. Yeah, I mean, you see what I'm saying? The golden era of basketball in the 90s compared to what it is now, it sucks a lot now, and it's not as popular as it was back in the 90s. I have 90s. a lot of black friends, so I still watch quite a bit. That's cool. I do, too, but it's just not. I don't, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what gave it away? It's not. I. It's not a personal choice or anything. I just. It's a, in. Uh, no, you're right. They don't like you. It's environment. You know. I'm not. If I was a black guy. I wouldn't approach you. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You're intimidating, Mike. It's yeah. only because I'm balding. Yeah. Like I'm losing my hair, so my only choice is you to shave like my head. You look like the kind of guy that would be like, yeah! <laughs> come here, boy. <laughs> I don't yeah. know about that. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. No, I don't. I I wouldn't call anyone boy. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I would if they were like ten years yeah. or younger. Right. Yeah, Get come here, here boy. boy. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's all of the fun news. Uh, oh, actually, no. I wanted to give you a shout out because of your sport. You called it the the Las Vegas Golden yeah, Knights. I told you they'd mop, they'd mop up the floor. You with were them. right. You were right. And uh, and I'm I gotta say I'm not all that upset about it. I don't care. It's good. I think it's cool. It's what, cool. What Whatever. happened? Uh, the the Las Vegas ended up winning the Stanley Cup. Their expansion uh, team that's only been around I want to say since sixteen. I want to say that's right, but I don't know for sure. Go ahead but and they, say it. Uh, they if just haven't. To, they man. haven't been in the league for very long. Say and and years. they won at hockey. Is it four? Four or five? Was it really twenty yeah, one? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't. Know. I can't remember. Yeah, but stupid COVID has me all messed up. I know. Stupid COVID. COVID. Yeah. It's still. Like, still COVID. Yeah, well, it like threw off the whole time. I didn't know you had COVID. Thanks for spreading that around. No, 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 no. That's I mean, fine. COVID. Like slash, when we everybody got everybody cold. had to stay home for two years. Yeah. You know that kind of deal that threw my whole timeline off. So no, I don't I understand. Even, uh, I don't I'm, have COVID. I'm trying. To, I know. I'm not worried. I'm not either. My body has natural immunity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to look up and see whenever they came into existence, uh, but it's it's just taken for fucking ever because you know my bone sucks and all of these these uh, Stanley Cup t 
t-shirts. Fuck you. Well, while you're looking that up, we'll discuss whether or not it fucking matters. 2017 is when they oh, found okay, it. Good. Okay, good. You found it. Anyways, well, uh, congratulations to all you Canadians out there. America is still number one, and you guys haven't won in quite a while. So there you go. Uh, but that is the sports and current events for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff. At least try to have fun. Jesus Christ, JP. Let's come on. Come on. Pep it up. Pep oh, yeah. it up. I think I'm doing a fine job. Where's, Are you? Where's your pep? Yeah, dude? where's your pep I think in I'm your I'm doing step? an all right job, man. I think weed brings you down from time to time. Um, life brings me down, Scotty. Oh, does weed uh, lift you up? Weed lifts me back up. Makes you float. I would No, weed just makes it a cloud around me. <laughs> oh, it doesn't yeah? put me up or down. It it's makes just, me paranoid as fuck. It's just a protective cloud. I uh, the last time I, like I smoked that, yeah. weed in the matter of maybe five minutes, I think I sat down on my couch in my living room and walked to the front door and looked out the peephole like something <laughs> around like twenty times. <laughs> but it felt like it was an hour that went by in yeah. my head. Yeah. So yeah, I don't do the marijuana anymore. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna move on to overrated or underrated uh, guys. If you have any suggestions for any of these upcoming segments, you can send them to us, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or on Twitter, which is at L O T Sidelines. Uh, I've been going through a couple of those, so I got a couple of questions uh, for next week's episode um, that will be from fans. Hopefully, if Derek uh, and whoever or no Derek won't be here, so fuck it. Um, Hiatus. Yeah, but whoever decides what questions we choose. Uh, but anyways, first one, we're going to go with overrated or underrated. Happy birthday Facebook posts. Underrated. Really? Yeah, man, they make me feel real good. Do they really? Yep. For people that I have or to. other people? Mine. For right. Yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck I'm, everyone else. I'm trying to, uh, it's, I've posted too many things. On my birthday last year, my birthday's on August 7th, just in case Mine's you guys want to write that down That's or whatever. Cool. My wife's on the 22nd. We're both oh, Leos. Man. Are we all Leos? My wife. She's oh, on, your wife. My wife. She's on. She's like on that cusp yeah. of Leo or whatever. The, Whatever's after Leo. Yeah, yeah like I that. don't know. You know more about it than I do. Apparently. I don't. I only know I'm a Leo. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> my birthday's on the seventh, and uh, and I got some happy birthdays from people or whatever. So then on the eighth, I posted, and I'm not going to do it justice because I can't read it, but I, something along the lines of like, if you wished me happy birthday yesterday, thank you. If you didn't, I'm sorry, but it's too late. I'm <laughs> yes, no longer no. accepting yeah. any more happy birthdays yeah. from you. And just so you know, yeah, it was. It was very happy. Was it? So thank you. Spectacular. And that was a, I, it was so a I go fun underrated, post. Yeah. You both go underrated. I, yeah, no, I like... <laughs> I don't what I don't like is when people post on their own birthdays. Oh. And they're like, just, you know, celebrate my birthday with yeah. my family. And I'm like, Any- don't reach <laughs> for a happy birthday. Like, yeah. Let me see that other people have wished you happy birthday or let Facebook just tell me and I'll wish you a happy birthday. But my aunt used to do that. I had an an aunt that was uh I think now you would say she's on the spectrum or something, but we used to make <laughs> We used to make fun of her when we were kids because we didn't we didn't see her very often, but we knew that she would call us on her birthday. It's autistic and, as fuck. And my mom would answer the phone, and she wouldn't say hello or anything. She would just go, "It's my birthday." <laughs> now my mom would go, "I know, happy birthday." So yeah, that's well, how that's I cool. feel when I see people on Facebook be like, "For my birthday, I'm doing this." I'm like, "Will you fucking calm down?" Yeah. I hate the ones that just use the pre fucking fabricated happy birthday with the little hats and cake. Right. I'm like, fucking spend some effort and fucking I t- type it I in. didn't know that did that. I did that. I do that manually. I go and I put the hats in the balloons and shit. Yeah, that's all fucking prefabbed I'm right totally there. I'm totally fucking lying. Fucking no. Prefab I, happy birthday. I don't, Damn, I don't, I don't, I don't say, it. I don't say this very often, but I have to be honest. When he's right, he's right. Derek has this particular situation figured out. He has nailed it right on the head. His Facebook birthday yeah, it's is not wrong. His real birthday. It's wrong. But people it's, still wish him birthday every people, year. Every single year. Every year. On the wrong birthday. And the same people, and which is the worst part. And I think it's great because then you can determine which people really like and know you and love you because they don't know. Like the, these particular people have no idea that it's not Derek's birthday. 
and they don't give a fuck. I Face- only know because he told me. Facebook. Yeah, I wouldn't know either. He I'm, told me once, and then I remembered. I'm don't on wish his same Derek list happy. Of I'm like, of don't shit. wish Derek happy birthday on Facebook. He nailed it right on the head. I don't remember very many people's birthday period, and he is one of the very few that I do remember. <laughs> it's hard enough for me to because, remember people's names. Yeah, no now shit. Now you want me to remember your birthday? Go uh, fuck yourself. No, he nailed it on the head because now people that actually do know his birthday like wish him happy birthday on facebook to say hey i actually know what your birthday is and that's how he determines who his real friends are Hmm. so i'm gonna say overrated as fuck um you got reminded by facebook you don't really care and you're just following a trend that i think is stupid i like i snapchat does the same thing where they'll put a little uh, cake next to the person's name if it's their birthday yeah. I, I always send the same message to a person and i'll be like hey i remembered it's your birthday and I, it's because i'm such a good friend and not because there's a picture of a cake <laughs> next to your name. name yeah exactly uh-huh. i'll be like thanks yeah. oh i found my post even though i kind of spoiled it already do you want me to read it I don't care. Statistically, if you're reading this, you either forgot or ignored my birthday. It was yesterday. It was incredibly happy. No thanks to you. And no, I will not be accepting any new happy birthdays at this point. You missed your chance. Better better luck next year. And then in parentheses, to the 3.2% of you who remembered, thank you. It means everything to me. (laughs) Which was a little, you know. Oh, that's great. Yep, good times. All right. All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Going to college. Overrated. Really? Yeah, dude. Okay. Like, I know so many people who have good jobs and good houses and all that stuff that never went to college. He said good jobs, JP. Good and I know, oh, yeah. and I know yeah. so many people who have college degrees who are struggling more than I am. Do you have a college degree? Absolutely not. I didn't think so. Something just told me that. That's weird. I know. No, it depends on what you go for. If you're in one of the STEM fields or something, yeah. then yeah, you're probably doing all right. But if you're going to like... Wow. What? I, 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 well, I was looking for some comedy in this, but you're nailing it right on the head as far as actual reality. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, do you want me to do comedy? Uh, like, uh, no, college is great because you get to <laughs> fuck whores and get drunk and, <laughs> and spend $20,000 to yeah, there you go. hate I yourself. Did, I do that, and I didn't even go to college. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. It's just that there is a, a large quantity of particular contestants for that particular game that you're trying to play uh but no uh it's way overrated uh and mike is actually right uh you're gonna spend a shitload of money you're gonna drink a he's lot shocked. i tend to be uh, even he, though he didn't go to college yeah see he's still i did what yeah. did you what's your uh, so that, that's kind of the funny thing what I, kind of diploma did you get uh, i was actually my major um well i went to college and actually to be an emt Okay, uh, and, and it was fire science was going to be my major. Um, in the process of doing so, I found out that I really don't like people, and especially I don't like people being what <laughs> nothing. I, I I don't like people being the first one to show up at an accident when people are losing their fucking mind. Yeah. So I found that out. You're not a good calm down, everybody. No. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah. No, I'm a very, very point blank and period kind of guy. Like, listen, quit freaking out about that person. They're dead already. You can't do anything about it. It's not going to be a fun day for you, but go over there and leave me the fuck alone so I can do my job and try to save this person. That's the unfortunate reality that I... Did not know how to go, I understand what you're going through bullshit. I just don't have that. I'm very black and white, clear as crystal. This is how I do things. Okay. So then I ended up finding another possibility or a possible career with no college requirement whatsoever. And it is now the career that I've developed into. And then I do this on the side and have a lot of fun. So all of the money that I spent over all of those years of college, including college baseball and scholarships and all of that shit, nothing, absolutely nothing allows me to do my job other than just learning how to do it from the bottom and working all the way to the top. So I'm going to go overrated by a long mile. Mm. Yep. If you want to go and party, great. If you're going to be in science, technology, engineering, math, or did I say science already? Yep. Okay. Um, Then you can go. Be an attorney, be a doctor, be a lawyer. Yes, go to college. Everything else, no. You're wasting your fucking time. Yeah. 
I'm an environmental studies major. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool. There's one job you can get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's that? They're not hiring because that's fucking a bullshit thing. Yeah, I want to major in sewing buttons on ice cubes. Congratulations. You're not making any money when you get out of college. I can't believe nobody wants to buy these. I, right? Yeah, that's not how it works. But uh, the college is like, fuck yeah, give us 20 grand. We'll it, teach you whatever you want. I wish it were even 20 grand. It's not, it's way more than that now. College but, loans are no fucking simple thing. It's expensive as balls and you're going to, you're going to pay them for the rest of your life. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated low budget special effects. Curveball there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say those are over. Are they good? No, they're low budget. But I mean, so no. I've read stories of like they, you know, they only spent a thousand dollars to make this movie, and it ended up being badass. No, no, okay, then yeah, no, I don't like bad effects. Really? Yeah. Who would? I don't know. There's something that makes me laugh about it, like Alf or something, or like okay, is so, Alf bad effects? Uh, no, way worse. No, than Alf that. was really good. <laughs> What's an I give me an example of I, bad effects? I cried for three days when I found out he uh, wasn't I'm, real. I'm getting there. Is that true? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> yep. No, it's not. I can yeah. tell by your. Mm -hmm. do, do you re <laughs> do you remember the original? Well, I mean, seeing clips from the original Godzilla. Oh yeah, from yeah those kind of special back in the day when they didn't like when it was they had a gla a jar of water in front of the camera swirling it around like this. Yes. To make but it. was that yes. was yeah. that bad effects then? No, it was like great. I didn't know. They were like, was it who, the, who thought of putting a jar of water in front of the camera and swirling it around to get a special effect? I remember I watching right. uh, RoboCop then. two when I was a yeah. kid, yeah. being like eight or nine years old, and there's a scene where they have a dude like tied down to a table and he like takes a razor blade on his chest and in my nine-year-old mind that scene showed them like cutting his chest open and like ripping and all this stuff but really if you watch it now it's just like fake cloth and he runs the razor razor blade for like a, an inch and then it cuts just to the guy screaming or whatever oh, but, wow. but that's all i needed in my nine-year-old mind to paint that whole picture in my head so yeah shitty effects are fine as long as they're with the time you know i think they're underrated as fuck if you have not seen sharknado and you need yeah. a good laugh some good shit I don't want to watch something that's <laughs> purposely bad. I don't think just it, to laugh at how bad it is. Sharknado two? That's a different story. Isn't there twelve of them or something now. Oh, get okay. it's There's a bunch. it's so ridiculous. But like Sharknado one, I legitimately think they were trying to make a good movie out of this and be like, hey, this is gonna be kind of cool. And then everybody was like, this is so fucking hilarious. I can't stop watching it. Give me another one. And the acting is awful, but the special effects are even shittier. So I'm going to go with this is underrated as hell. It's very humorous. JP? I, yeah, underrated. Uh, I, I like the humor in it. I do too. Yep. Like that's, space balls. Oh, like when they're, yes. That's a good one. That's for a good one. Low budget bullshit yes, effects. Absolutely. But it's a great fucking movie. Absolutely. That's, that's excellent. That's an excellent uh, pick right there. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated. This is from a listener. This is from Caden Frazier. He wants to know overrated or underrated babysitters. Overrated. Really? Why? Because when we were kids, we had a babysitter one time that literally beat the living shit out of my little sister. Wow. And we were Ooh. all we were all too little to do anything about it. So oh. it was just a bad experience. Why did she do that? Was she because misbehaving? She was a cunt. <laughs> so she well, probably I mean, deserved your sister it? And, no. Oh. She was just a fat cunt. Oh. And she had fucking fucking I don't know. She took out all her fucking aggressions and anger on fucking... Was she your babysitter? Oh, the babysitter for, was a cunt. Yeah. I, oh, I thought he, Mike was asking no. about your sister. I was well, like, she's a cunt, did, too, but not at that point. <laughs> I was like, what did your sister <laughs> do back, back to deserve then, this? No, back then, she was really cool. That's oh. how she beatings were that. when I was a child. No, like, yeah, she didn't deserve it. My mom would... Uh, I would come home from school crying, and I would be like, Miss Tyson <laughs> hit me today. What'd you do? <laughs> right, what'd you yeah, do? Right. Well, it sounds like she probably should have hit you. Yeah, then right <laughs> so it's like she did fine and now it's like a kid fucking throws a cinder block at a kid's head and then like gets slapped by the kid's mom and then the other the cinder block kid's mom is like don't you ever touch my kid yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. fucking who's gonna teach him, him not to do this yeah yeah 
Um, so babysitters yeah. to me are, uh, I mean, th- obviously not that one. That's <laughs> yeah, not a good one. That but bitch. Yeah, she's fat and kind of a cunt. I yeah, was a babysitter kinda. for uh, like two weeks. Really? When I was probably 12 or 13. Were, were you I, in a babysitter's club? No, but uh, I rode my bike to this. Read the books. It was. Uh, Definitely read the books. Yeah. Somebody my mom set me up with. I don't know, That's like awesome. a lady she met. there. We went to the same school, but I was in like sixth grade and they were in like one of them was in kindergarten kindergarten the other one was younger than that and i don't know i just fucking sat there and watched tv and it was easy but after a few weeks they were just like yeah we don't like that i don't know what happened really i think i got ghosted yeah they just kind of stopped ghosted. they just kind of stopped you wanting me to babysit. before ghosting was cool i guess i like that you guys must not have had the babysitters that i had mine were fucking hot yeah oh. i never had a hot babysitter oh my babysitter was fucking hot and my parents are already divorced at this point so my dad needed somebody to watch me and he chose a friend and she was smoking hot so uh yeah thanks for that what's she up to today still good looking and a doctor oh really yeah went to college wow mm-hmm. she yeah. probably thinks college is underrated, underrated. Uh-huh. i'm sure yeah yeah really good looking still to this day uh so yeah i want to go underrated none of my uh babysitters were fat cunts so yeah i'll take that there you go uh last but not least uh overrated or underrated squirters underrated yeah <laughs> really yeah it's like uh it's the equivalent of a dude coming okay it's like 100 percent. i got off and you <laughs> you know for sure <laughs> why are you looking at me like that jp <laughs> what well for me they're all squirters well, of course they are so they're all have, dudes yeah way underrated uh i don't know maybe you got a guy every once in a while shoots just blanks man. no just blanks just just <sighs> kind of yeah, just that's a, a topic actually, that I cover in my new special about. I think cum volume should be more respected than it is. Because like the longer you go without coming, the, the more comes out. So if if I don't jerk off for a day or two, like I would think that a girl would be like, "Way to go, buddy!" Like, good that's job. A, that's the sign. That's a telltale sign of yeah. like, oh man, he hasn't jerked off in at least a month. It's like a time, like a month. Yeah. I would fucking Jesus. blow someone's yeah, throat I, out. I can't imagine. The longest I've yeah. ever gone is like a, a maybe a little over a week. Uh, Ooh, that's impressive. That is. Well, impressive. I, it wasn't. It's been it wasn't years since I've done it by choice. Yeah, I was like visiting family, so I was like, no, I'm not going to do it here. And I yeah. Don't, and because it, I used to not jerk off at family's house out of respect, <laughs> but nowadays now. I don't jerk off at family's house because I don't trust fucking Alexa and cameras <laughs> and all that shit. Uh, so I know right. I'm like, there's going to be one everywhere. Yeah, there will be. It'll be on your phone. They can, they can see that shit too. And the other thing is, is when you're jerking off and looking at your phone, guess what the camera of your phone is looking at? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Dude, it's and all day. that's going to be released one day. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Somebody's going to hack the system and just <laughs> give, like, let you search by name anybody's yes. phone that you want to, and it'll all be out there. And it, they'll be like, what porn is JP looking at? Holy shit. Yeah, but then they'll see, and they'll be like, well, that's equal to the creepy shit that I look at, so <laughs> let's all just agree to shut the fuck up about all this no kidding uh i do this is okay i'll be on uh, tell us about squirting yeah i i I know i can't no what i I liked it if we're talking about woman squirters then definitely overrated why because ugh uh, no. because ugh. okay but no it, i i dated a girl for a year or so that uh, uh, she would she could only do it through insertion so it wasn't any of like when i look up if i and i do <laughs> if i look up squirting on on pornhub or something yes, it's do. always like a dude with a rubber glove on yeah. just fucking like beating yeah. like yeah. i'm like i don't want to see i just want a girl that's gonna naturally squirt from sex you know sure. and that happens happens sometimes and i dated <laughs> that girl got, for a while he's got the sister fister going to town <laughs> right oh shit so no i'm not into that kind of squirting but yeah if a girl that i mean it just lets me know like all right she officially just orgasmed or did whatever sure. enough that she ruined my sheets <laughs> but after the third or fourth time then you're just like all right well 
like I was in my thirties before I realized like sleep in the wet spot, like was the girl making the wet spot. Yeah. I always assumed like it was the, you. Du- the dude just came on the sheets or whatever. And like, I guess I'll sleep in it. But no, after I dated a squirter, I was just like, fuck yeah, I'll sleep in this dampness. I don't care. I thought it was a fucking myth for a long, long time. It's what the wet spot the or squirting. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I was like, no fucking way. I thought like, right. well, I thought like the two that wraps r- that up. Hang on a second. Ugh. No, I thought that it's, the, it's not all butthole. Talk. To make Come me, on. Oh, starting to make my stomach. You'll hurt. be okay. Uh, but no, for the longest time, I thought it was just like a fucking myth. It was like, oh, only porn stars can do that. And the only reason why they can do that is because of they something. practice. Yeah, they just they just like like practice fucking practice makes perfect. No, they just punt like they cut. And then all of a sudden they put like a just a bunch of gelatinous. Pyrotechnics. Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody like <laughs> a dude with a thing, like a <laughs> plunger <laughs> thing that he pushes down. Yeah. <laughs> somebody I, just. I have seen porn with like a fake dick that just comes like yeah. a gallon of milk's uh, worth of cum on a girl. Yeah. But it's from the POV of like, is that a dick? I don't. I'm, I think that's fake. Think but it's, fake, but if it's not. That's impressive. It's not. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You must have been at your sister's this week. He yeah. hasn't jerked off for at least a month. Yeah, but see, and then I uh, I, I met uh, a woman that uh, does and uh, shocked the shit out of me, and then I married her oh man so, all right uh, i feel that. like i i know more about your wife than i <laughs> deserve to uh, yeah it's okay <laughs> uh, but anyways that is overrated or underrated uh for this week's episode again if you have any suggestions send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on instagram or at lot sidelines on twitter all right now we get to move on to love that guy or fuck that guy what we changed it again yeah it's it's, it's this way it's, it's easier its third iteration I what know. did it used to be uh, I'm uh, yep on that guy. Yep on that guy or, or fuck, fuck that, that guy. guy. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is just simpler. Uh, love that guy or fuck that guy. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us. Uh, first one. Love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy who wears way too much cologne. I am that guy. <laughs> I love that guy. No, I you smell like guy. weed everywhere you go. I don't wear cologne <laughs> over here to do the podcast. Oh no, like, just, I'm not like fucking. Just like I do. Oh, to go to the podcast. No, no, like, I, I do that exact thing. Actually, uh, I put on cologne before I do my podcast, and yeah. I'm just at home alone in front of yeah. my computer. Yeah, I don't know cool. why I do that, but yeah. I was yeah. I when I used to go out to the club a lot in my younger days, there was a couple that lesbians that. They would come find me every every night at the club so they could smell what cologne I was wearing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That seems... Huh. Okay. The, if, if they were attractive, then that's awesome. But and if they, they weren't... They were. Like, they were very... Stop. Yeah. They were very attractive. Stop smelling yeah, me. If they didn't have vaginas, I probably would have fucked them. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, well, I just don't... I still don't imagine you being the guy that wears way too much. Yeah, probably am. You are really... Mm-hmm. No, I... I, I oh, go I, ahead. I was going to say, uh, the guys that I think of this are used car salesmen... Those guys that have like the really high expensive cologne and they just take a bath in that shit. Fuck that guy, man. It's all about timing. You've got to time your cologne. You got to put it on. When oh, why? It only works at like noon. No, got, no, uh, not time oh, of day. Oh, time okay. how long you've had it on. No, it's about. I'll explain. <laughs> okay. When you take a hot shower, your pores open up a little bit. So if you squirt cologne right as you're stepping out of the shower, like not when you're dripping wet, but when you're still damp and squirt it on then and rub it in or whatever, then by the time you get dressed and put your clothes on and make it to the bar or to that girl's house, you don't smell like the guy who just squirted cologne on in the car. You just smell like that's what you smell like. Does that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. I didn't know that this comedy show turned into a fucking science project. I'm though. sorry. I'm when I'm here with unfunny people, I just have to get science. <laughs> oh, 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 that's on you, bro. That's I not think me, he dog. was a dig on you. No, I no, I, I, I'm not supposed to be the funny guy. Oh. Yeah, that's not me. No, nah, I'm just you. I'm just shitting on you, dude. <laughs> I just I heard you say that you don't like squirters. So that yeah, just, it's totally I, weird. Ever since you said that, I just don't look at you the same anymore. I, I do. I do though. I, th- I say I say fuck that guy. They they kind of uh, it's like a red flag to me. So stay away from those people. Uh, next one, love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy who sleeps in a race car bed still. Fuck that guy. Of course, fuck that guy. Grandma's yeah. boy reference, and we didn't yeah. even know it was coming. I fucking love that guy, man. 
I mean, I would. He's got a bear in the trunk, man. His bed was so small, though. Like I would yeah. sleep in a king size race car bed, but I'm I would five have five foot seven. Come I on, can't, I can't have. I don't have room in my apartment for I, a big bed. Oh God, dude! I want a race car bed still, but I'd get divorced immediately. What other kind of beds? Sailboat. A sailboat or bed? Or a tugboat bed. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> You'd get some fucking poontang for that shit. Some vagina nay nay for... They would love that. I have an adjustable bed. Do you? <laughs> girls like that. <laughs> they, Older women they love try that. To act Does like it look they, like a tugboat? They try to act like they don't like it, but once we're reclined up watching TV or whatever, then they're like, this is pretty nice. Yeah. And mo- I'm like, heck yeah. Yeah, motion of the ocean, man. Tugboat. You gotta love it. No? Come on. No, I don't that would be weird if you had a <laughs> a bed that moved as though it were on the ocean. Yes. No. You that can would... even cosplay. You can even be like the captain and she could be like, you know, I am your... the captain. Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is turning weird, man. <laughs> okay. I just I've been uncomfortable for a few minutes. <laughs> If what was th- it? What put us over the edge? The, the, was it? the 35 year old that still mm-hmm. sleeps in a race car that bed? That too is JP, that's what problem. He's, that's what he's got at home. I guarantee you. Oh no, you know he feels I personally just have the mattress attacked. on the floor. <laughs> <I> mattress <laughs> on the floor. I, yeah, that's Cardboard what I box. had until my mom died, and then I race in, car bed inherited her adjustable oh, bed frame. Good stuff. My own mattress, though, so it's not that's weird. Good. This is not weird. Uh, next one. Love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy who drops a bomb in the public bathroom. Not a real bomb. Why? I mean, I don't know why I would love him, but I don't know why I fuck that guy. Yeah, either. I'm it's with like, you. Okay, that's what that, I was going to say. Just, I'm neither or. I'm like, all right, like, that's what that guy has gotta, to do. Yeah, if he's got to fucking go, he's got to go. I don't like when uh, I was in a public bathroom one time and there was a guy shitting next to me, Mexican guy. And I only know this because of this part of the story that comes next. Uh, <laughs> it smelled like Mexican food. No, it did not. But his phone rang and he, and he said, hola. And then said a bunch of Spanish shit after that. So I assume. So anyway. Like his butthole was speaking Spanish. Whoever's calling him is like, you got to get here right now. I, I assume. I can't hear him. But he goes, hola, 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 hola. And he hangs up the phone. And then I just see like the shittiest piece of toilet paper, like folded up group of toilet paper I've ever seen in my life. He dropped it on the ground, picked it up. And then walked out of the bathroom. And I was like, no. <laughs> like, he's not even close to being done. Like, that guy wiped one time and fucking rushed out of there. Didn't uh, wash his hands or nothing. Like, so whoever was on the phone needed him immediately. Uh, and I think about that probably three times a month. <laughs> And this happened how many years? Probably ago? ten years yes, ago, I and that. I still and remember still. it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! Mm. Um, yeah, you can't you can't say fuck that guy. A lot of people that's why they're shitting in a public restroom. Oh yeah, nobody wants to go. I mean, like. If you're at work, that's a little bit different. But no, if you're at a Chili's or some shit like <laughs> right. that, no, you are having a very bad day. You yeah. don't want to take a shit at Chili's. It's no. not something we all strive to do. I want to take one shit in the morning at, and then at, no at, more at all. Right, if at I'm home. shitting any other time or place, it's something is wrong. It's all bad. Yeah. Absolutely. Coffee hit you weird or something. But no. So I, I don't hate this guy. I don't love this guy. I've been that guy. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I, I respect that I guy. I respect that guy. You take your shit, buddy. That's right. Just wipe better. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Dude, I bring, right. when I, especially when I'm on the road, I have wet wipes with me, and I'll straight up bring them into the bathroom. Yeah. And I've offered them to p- dudes before, and they're like, no. Because they're dude wipes, aren't they? No, they're fucking Huggies wet wipes. Oh, great. But I'm just like, but as I'm walking in the bathroom I'm like you need I've one of these i've done the some like, gay shit no. in the bathroom before <laughs> but i've never had it tried to do. if i'm walking Here, in and the dude's wipes? walking into yeah. the stall next to me it right, just seems no. appropriate no, to be yeah, like you have, i have these yeah, you want one you sit there take one of the wet wipes and just go clean yourself up yeah, <laughs> bathe her and bring her to me <laughs> oh shit yeah but poor guy not mad at him at all uh next one love that guy or fuck that guy the guy who uses speakerphone in public. Fuck, fuck that, that guy. guy. Fuck that guy. Unanimously. You self-important fuck. 
Why, sir? Nobody needs to hear your conversation, you fucking pompous douche. I, I will defend this in a minute. Okay. Go, Why, or right now. Okay, then I'll ask the question. Why, sir, do you feel that everybody around you needs to know your conversation? Please shut the fuck up. Mine is because my speaker doesn't work on my phone when I hold it up to my ear. That speaker doesn't work. The only speaker that works is speakerphone. And my grandma is the only person that calls me that I have to take the call whenever it comes in. So I've been at the grocery store before. Do you make sure you, so you're like, Grandma, I'm here. Grandma, that way <laughs> no. they know fucking. No, but that's actually that's smart. Part. No, yeah. I'm just like, hello. Hello. <laughs> and she's like, hey, what what are you doing? Like just loud. And so, yeah, I've been that Buying guy. Buying some but, soup. But it just depends on the situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I can tell by the way a p- person's talking whether they are ashamed of what they're doing or not. I, and I talk in an ashamed way when I'm on speakerphone in public. I don't know what bothers me more, the guy that just is on speakerphone or the people, and it's normally women, but whenever they are just talking into the like receiver of the phone and then putting it up to their ear, like, I don't want to hear yeah, your right. bullshit. And then put it on their head. It's like, yeah. that's fucking stupid. When, when cell phones were still kind of new, <laughs> like, I'm that old. Mm-hmm. Like, But when they first came out and they were still kind of new and not everybody could really have one, I remember my buddy getting a cell phone and we went to the Blockbuster and he told his mom, call me in 20 minutes so that it, the phone will ring while we're in Blockbuster <laughs> and I can answer and look cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't remember that. So we're we're in the blockbuster and the phone rings or whatever and he answers is like, "Hey, yeah, yeah." I go, "Everyone knows you're talking to your mom." You, <laughs> you know, we're all just lighting him up like, "That's your mom, dude. You're not cool." I don't even remember that, yeah. but I totally remember telling somebody, "Hey, call me in 20 minutes because my late night minutes are going to start kicking in." Oh yeah, so late oh, night. Those that's, are unlimited. Yeah. Yeah. Unlimited <laughs> unlimited nights and weekends. That's yeah. right. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's my shit. All right. uh, Last one. Love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy who stands too close to you in line. Depends on the guy. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fair. I can see if if you if if you replace guy with girl, I would answer the exact same way. Yeah, because I would love to have a, yes, like I'm riding on the subway when I lived in New York when it was packed. It was always cool when there was like a smoking hot chick that just had her entire oh, body yeah. weight yeah. leaned up against with me, you. and I'm like, hey, all right, I'm not gonna molest you. There's but probably I people want that to. ride the subway all day long just oh, for there that are reason. yeah yeah. <laughs> really even yeah. when it's like empty yeah they're just no. hoping that somebody hoping comes that, in and hoping that a whole group of people comes in and they get rubbed on by some hot chick that's, that's a weird thing to do like the hot chick gets on the say subway it wasn't weird i'm just saying i bet well, there's people that the do hot it. chick has to get on the subway because she has to get to work to work the See, groper guy yeah, he's, he's got, got nothing else to do, to do. No. He's, he's, he's taking scoozy. it in he's circles yeah. he's like playing he's defense scoozy. like scoozy. no no Joe, come on She's like, there's a whole bench over here. No, you don't sit in bench. I don't know why the guy's foreign all of a sudden. Yeah, I know. But he is. This is the best part of COVID. This this is why I liked COVID. For once, uh, there's only one good positive thing about COVID, and that was people had to keep their fucking distance. I don't like being really close to people. I I don't. I'm not claustrophobic or anything like that. But I'm if I'm in a big crowd of people, I do not like being like where i have no escape oh and man like okay we've ref- we've referred to the cotillion multiple times everybody stands out on the dance floor whenever there's a concert right i don't like being the guys up at the front even if i get a great view of the but concert if you're not, you get then you can't see. I get, yeah, yeah i like being in the yeah. very back and i can see just fine i have I a good time think so. and me and clayton can be back there just dancing like Clayton's our idiot like, selves the boost no, I, I don't have to. No, they they're nice. On they his bring shoulders. no, they bring bar stools out there for me to stand Scott, on. Scotty sitting yeah. on Clayton's shoulders. Ah! I'm dancing on a bar stool so I can see. Uh, but yeah, no, this was the best part about COVID. I I do not like just keep the fucking distance away from me. All right. One of my favorite concert memories. They did a thing called Can Roxas. Did mm-hmm. you hear about that? It was like the Kansas version of like Bonnaroo or whatever, and it was the same bands and stuff. Eminem was there, Muse, a few others. Oh, dude, it was great. It was like a three-day camping sort of thing. They had it at the racetrack outside of Kansas City. But anyway, 
So like by the third day, everybody's just unshowered and fucking gross no. and just sweating and hung over and uh, mushrooms and God, it was such a good time. But <laughs> so the third day, the, then they had little side stages and stuff too. So we saw a perfect circle. Uh, oh shit. I forgot about this. Oh dude. And it was a great show. And they, there were just so many sweaty fucking just glistening, like slippery people, Porn stars. dudes and chicks. Midgets. And we were all just fucking crammed together. And it was like, a, it Ooh. felt like a Zion <laughs> in the matrix, you know, oh my God. It, and girls would like shake their head and you could see like water come off of their hair and shit. It oh. was it, one of my best concert memories ever. Why does that gross me out? It's like not a, even if they're smoking hot, it's just like, no, nah, no, nah, it's not for me. I, not. Yeah, good times. Oh, that's just. But weird. no, I don't like if I'm in a line at the bank or something, and right. I kind of glance yeah. over and there's a dude like a foot away from me. I'm like, dude, what the yeah. fuck? Ah, oh, no, I'm out. All right, well, that was love that guy or fuck that guy this week again, guys. If you have any suggestions, uh, I actually did um, pick uh, some of these from that, and I do apologize uh, if I did not give you a shout out. Um, I meant to, <clears throat> but uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, yeah, uh, again, send them to us and, uh, we'll give you a high five. First one. What is your version of hell? Have you not heard my week, week recaps? <laughs> <laughs> is it the doing the same? I shit? hope, I hope this is it. I hope that, that they just whatever's after this is way better. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? No. Like, I think I'm living it. I think they put you in a, just a room full of vaginas. Well, I mean, yeah. The vagina nay nays all the, around. That Even that wouldn't the, be hell. Hell is worse than yeah, that's discomfort. Bad. Yeah, it's like discomfort, but it's also like the uh, so it, Yeah, it's like I I have to be in a room full of vaginas that I have to eat. Oh, wow. That would be bad. Wow. Even that is like... I, a, no? A, no. Oh, okay. No, wow, that's actually I, my heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's it amazing. It depends on the vagina. Totally and the does. Girls. Totally does. It's funny because I, well, we'll get to it. Okay. But uh, I do have mine. Go ahead. And I've thought about this for years. If, if, if I could imagine like the worst day of my life, it would be in traffic in Los Angeles. But every single time I'd see an opening and I'd move over to that and get in there because that lane's moving, the lane that I was just in would move. Right, so I would continue. I would continue to go absolutely nowhere. Just sideways, just sideways, <laughs> trying to go forward and not get there. So your time. hell is the opening scene from Office Space. That is a hundred percent correct. Uh huh. Exactly. But both of you guys are just picking things that are like mild inconveniences. Like oh, no. hell is like. I always say when somebody's like, oh, I had the worst day ever. Then my immediate thought, and if they're a close enough friend, then I will say. Why did somebody shove a red hot poker up your ass? Because that's literally the worst, one of the worst things. I'm talking like straight out of the fire, like red. It's not a pleasurable thing at all. It's going to be the worst pain you've ever felt in your life. And that's how hell is. What's what's the dude's name that pushes the rock up the hill uh, forever? Yeah, I know who it that, is. That uh, guy. It's like Atlas atlas yeah. okay so it's like i don't think that's right i don't is think it? it is either but it's like sisyphus or uh, some sisyphus. shit yeah, uh, yeah. anyway so sisyphus. sisyphus totally now my idea of hell is being cut in half mm. all the different ways that a person could be cut in half and Slowly. then after i'm cut in half and i die then i just am healed back together and we start, start over, over again yeah. and yeah. when people imagine somebody being cut in half they think like a quick sword strike or something and like that the scene in the movie where the top half of your body just slides off of the bottom half but there's way more ways that you can cut somebody in half that would be way worse than that yeah and you just get every one of them in hell over and over again all the time oh that would suck yeah but yeah. you're like i would hate to be in a room where i feel weird and i'm like fucking cut in half <laughs> with a red hot poker in your ass oh. that's way worse than traffic no not like reliving the holocaust that didn't exist um that would be bad too yeah uh-huh uh next one uh some scientists believe blank is a trait that is genetically inherited hating myself oh just yeah? like my father <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah no i don't know you don't know i don't know i mean i, I couldn't think of anything funny 
uh, well, after all that cut in half shit, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, what character traits did my dad give me? I think wanting to be a magician. That's genetically. That's like, uh, what's the comedian's name? Oh, whose dad was a clown, but then he was a magician. Oh, I don't know. Uh, fuck. He's super funny. He's got an, his special just came out on Amazon recently. I don't know. God damn it. That's well, okay. that guy. But I think it is. I think it's a genetic thing. You, you get into magic. And then if you look like everybody's parents that, uh, were famous magicians are, you know, their parents were amazing magicians. Ooh, they learned I, the tricks of the trade. I have a good answer. What's up? Crocodile hunting. Yes. Right. Yes. Those kids are super into that shit. Now. Fuck. Yeah. Go team Irwin's. I love those people so much. I really do too. Oh, me too. Fuck. I don't understand the, the happiness. Okay. You, you nailed it right on the head. The the love for life that Steve had, his son has like just as much. Mm -hmm. It's fucking great. And so uh good good on you, Aussies. Fuck yeah, the Irwins are awesome. Uh how about you, JP? AIDS. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely genetic. I don't think that they they like half of them think that. I think all of them think that. Some scientists don't. You're like, yeah, they don't? Got it from my daddy. <laughs> yep. See? Okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Uh, next question. This is actually from another fan. This is from Andy Walker. Andy Walker. Andy Walker. Andy Walker. Yep. He wants to know what is something you can say in a fast. I'm sorry. What is something you can say in a fast food drive through and in bed? Double meat, please. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> um, uh, um, I can't see them, but this smells like it has onions on it. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, God. I'll take the foot long. Yeah, that uh, one's for you, JP. Okay. Yeah. No, or if you go through Arby's for me, this is actually for me. Yeah. I'll have the roast beef sandwich, please. I, I was going to say yes! something roast beef related. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Arby's. Appreciate it. A beef and cheddar. Is that what you want down there? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's My, disgusting. Mine's a junior. I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a I know. <laughs> It's it's this one here is a junior, but you can have it if you want. <laughs> oh it's God. add bacon. I mean. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, but you, uh, it's got some cheese on it. Yuck. Oh, You're not going to like that. That's what I'm saying. The beef and cheddar just looks like a fucking yeast infection. Just bleh. Mm. Oh, God. They are good, though. They are delicious. Gotta oh. love yeast infection. <laughs> Now, now everybody listening to this episode, that's all they're thinking about for the rest of their life anytime they go to Arby's. Now, they're thinking about getting cut in half and all the different <laughs> ways they <laughs> the can do it. hot poker up their ass. That's true. Like, you know, have you ever done like a hand saw no. in, in wood, you oh, know, oh. where like the tooth gets caught on the, you know, you're ah. doing like the brrr perfectly and then it's like, tick, tick, tick. imagine that like on your hip bone or something. True. Terrible. Uh, next question. Never underestimate the power of blank. A retard. Dude, they got fucking. They fucked. are strong. Are There's they? The, yes, they've yes. got like a All vice grip in All their hands. Of them. They just uh, it's like a dude. Lenny from of mice and men. When I, when I worked at yeah. when he I worked at Starkey, man, we did this thing where they cleaned uh they're called Calicos. They're from the aircraft industries oh, wow. and it's just small little parts that, that get gummed up and need cleaned. Those some bitches, man, they would fucking brush those fucking things with copper wire brushes so hard the fucking brushes would be like fucking that down uh, to the nubs. Crazy, dude. Crazy strength. We call it special special powers is mm -hmm. what I call it. But yeah. yeah, it's it's superhuman strength that, yeah. that they've got. But I put never underestimate the power of the pussy. That uh, that has started wars. Uh, and uh, yeah, it the, has the, no power over me. The vagina nene has some powers. They definitely do. I'm immune. Not for to you, but to actual people of importance uh, with college people. degrees. Yeah, actual people. They in, they are very STEM important. Fields. Good call. That's true. That's uh, my answer. Is uh, your answer, but with a, a, an added adjective okay pussy a clean pussy <laughs> clean pussy that's what like this is under, true I clean like pussy that. has power over me oh, much more than yeah i i joke yeah, about I it on stage that. but if you you can't ask ahead of time like so what are we working with here like how long ago did you shower when have you pooped last like <laughs> you, you can't cross you your just, fingers and yeah hope. you just go into it and if it's pristine and perfect 
then you're still thinking I could have just caught her on a good day or whatever. But then if you see her again days later and it's as pristine, you're like, I'm fucking hooked. I'm marrying this chick. Yes. Yeah. If, True. She'll, if she'll have if me. If she'll have me. Oh, but turns out she's crazy and she won't <laughs> fucking have me. But all right. All I'm trying to say, though, is just think about this. You see all of the really good looking girls and rap music videos on yachts. What the fuck did they do? Nothing. Nothing. No. They were hot. They were hot. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. But yet, they are partying on a boat with Puffy. That's it. So, yes. Oh, I mean, what did Puffy do to get there? P. Diddy do to get there? A lifetime of, of working work hard. the fuck in order to get on that yacht. Yeah, I think. Who was that? Like They An- did nothing. I think Andrew Tate was talking about that, where oh. he's like, like you, you see 18-year-old girls all the time with 40 and 50-year-old rich dudes. Yeah. Tell me, how many fucking 18-year-old dudes do you see dating a 50-year-old rich chick? And I never, rest my it case. It never happens. 100%. It's totally true. So, yeah, chicks can get places know. based on their yeah. looks, which is unfortunate for the ugly chicks, but it's, <laughs> it's very Natural convenient. Selection, Natural man. selection, yeah. though. I mean, Natural but I think selection. the same thing about dudes or, or being funny or being talented in some way. Like, yeah. everybody doesn't get to be that. Yeah. So when you are that thing, it's like, that's nice. and that's why when other people shit on it, like Matt Reif is a good example of yeah. that. Like he's, I love that guy. He's been a comedian Dude. for at least a decade. Oh, yeah. And maybe everybody, a little less than everybody that. that I know that have, that has worked with him, that I've talked to, loves that guy. Yeah. yeah. And Just audiences love him. Say he's, about him, man. And yeah. then. And he's fucking hot. And he's so, ripped as fuck. I love yeah. That. What movie is that from where he's like ripped like Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> I might have been a comedian that says it. And then he goes ripped like Jesus. <laughs> But he was on Wild and Out for the longest time, too. I mean, he was on that. So that's where he got to start. He's He's been doing this for a long time. He's worked his way through the shit. But my point is, he's thinking the same thing that the hot girl on the yacht is thinking, which is like, what? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to fucking turn down the opportunities that people are offering me. Like, because I'm good looking. Just because you're fat. Like, so I got to make you feel good, you know? Agreed. Agreed. Um, there's a reason why we did this podcast just by audio when we first started it. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, last one. Blank Jesus would turn water into blank. I will start because I know the, the context of this question. Okay. Redneck Jesus would turn water into PBR. Dude, you're a real piece of shit. What? That was my an- <laughs> that was my answer. Oh. I was gonna say Bush Light. You're a oh, real Bush redneck Jesus. 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 Redneck yeah. Jesus. Okay, yeah. I'll think of another. No, it's oh. so cool. I got another one. Okay. Cool Jesus would turn water into marijuana. I'm sure he would. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, Asian Jesus would turn <laughs> water into ramen. Deal. Transgender Jesus <laughs> would turn water into Bud Light. <laughs> Yes, that's great. I love it. Happy Pride. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Son of a bitch. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week. I accidentally did that. That's that JP. That sounded perfect, though. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, happy LBG, everybody. <laughs> I, just saw, I, uh, I just saw transgender Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, now we get to move on to a favorite part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the laughing on the sidelines draft, and um, they hate it when I do that shit. <laughs> they fucking hate it. Derek okay. hates it. We don't care. Oh, I know. I know. We don't mind. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's no kinda, problem. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, but no, this is our draft. Uh, last week, um, it, it would Derek. Derek won. Last week, I finally didn't lose a draft. No, last week, you weren't here. Right, which is why I didn't <laughs> lose a draft. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but no, last week, Derek ended up uh, running away with it. I got in second, and uh, Mr. Mike uh, took up the tail end of it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't win because did I picked Love, Death, and Robots, and nobody likes that show. Apparently, it's a big deal. Uh, that's actually a pretty decent show. Yeah, did you watch it? 
Fuck no. But oh. it, it has its own like sticker on TikTok, which I was extremely shocked. Oh yeah, it's great. You know what you know what TV show does not have its own sticker on TikTok? What? King of the fucking hill. Really? What hmm. the fuck is wrong with you people? Uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, so that, uh, or since Derek's not here, he doesn't get a pick and doesn't get the uh, blow job uh, from JP. So uh, yeah, I know. That's okay. You guys do that on the weekends anyways. Yeah, mostly. Uh, but because I came in second, I get the championship picks this week. Uh, JP did not come in dead last week before, so he's going to get the sandwich picks. And Mike came in dead last last I week. I love the sandwich picks. I know you do. Mm. You are the Eiffel Tower King, yes, dog. Yes, sir. Uh, and, Mike, you get the uh, first pick uh, of this week's draft. This week's draft is going to be uh, we are going to a party, and we get to go with whichever or whoever celebrities that you want to go with, dead or alive. All right. So this is going to be the celebrity party draft. Uh, is that what we're going to call it? Yeah, sure. Celebrity party draft. Uh, party with celebrities draft. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, but anyway, so we want to draft uh, celebrities that we would love to go and party with. Uh, Mike Baldwin, you get the number one pick. What is your 101? Um, I am going to say... Ooh. L- Leo. Who? Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. Leo? Leo. I can only imagine the looks on people's faces when I walk into a party with that dude. <laughs> They're just like, well, what the fuck? Is Baldwin hanging out with Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> yep. Oh, hey, guys. This is my friend. This is my friend, Leo. Uh, fine. Okay. Uh, JP, you are number one pick. Bill Murray. Okay. All right. That's a good pick. That is a good pick. But that is not the best pick. What's the best pick? That is not the best pick. It's I, pretty good. I know. But I can't believe you didn't take him. Oh, yeah, he's dead. If you say it, then I'm going to be mad because I've already got it written down. I don't care. Okay. I don't care because I think your number one and my number one is the same thing. Go ahead. And that is Chris Farley. Fuck! Yeah, son of a. How the fuck do you not take Chris, Car- Chris Farley? I didn't think you'd do it yes. right away. Oh, yes. How would you not want to party with Chris oh, Farley? Oh, I do. I, that's why I have him written down right Over here. Over Murray? Over Bill Murray? I, I don't necessarily pick an order. There's no order. Yeah, there's an order. There's there, a, yeah, there's, there's a strategy. There is a strategy okay. Well, to you this. got Chris Farley. Congratulations, I did, I did get, man. Why do you think Chris I said Farley. Leo first? Because yeah. I knew both of you guys would definitely say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Uh, uh, shit. Boy. Okay. Uh, I am then going to... Let's see. Uh, that is definitely my number one. Uh, I would say my number two... Man, I, I'm going to be really upset whenever this dude, because he's going through some health issues right now, but he's one of my favorite actors of all time. Jamie gonna, Fox. No, I'm going to go with Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, okay. Yeah. I I, I, I really do love yeah. that guy. Yeah, he's cool. I know he's in, yeah, he's not doing so good. But yeah, I feel like he wouldn't even feel good in the party. I would just ha- I would just like to hang out and chill with him. He'd be I like, mean, are you okay? And he'd be like, yeah, no, I'm good. I, I mean, like, oh God, I don't, I can't party. Come with on, you. John. Come on, John McClane. Let's go. Let's jump out of this fucking like top roof and let's make it a party. He'd do it. How about you, uh, JP? It is your second pick. Ryan Reynolds. Oh, you fucking would. Yeah. That's a great pick. Dude, though. He's that's a fucking, great pick. Dude, yeah. He's so dope. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he'd be a fucking blast. Yeah, that's a great pick. And he's gorgeous. Okay. So. Well, I don't know about I'll, that. But. I'll give you that. I mean, he's good looking, he's dude. He's one uh, of the most yeah. attractive male yeah. celebrities that I that I can think of. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Uh Mike, you get two in a row, dude. All right. Uh I'm gonna say Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> AKA <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing here, Leo dude? And watch, Radcliffe. watch any movie that Daniel Radcliffe's in. It's a fucking good movie. Catch me if you Only can. Only bangers. I don't know if I've actually seen Catch That's Me If You Can. Is a that bad Daniel villain. Radcliffe? Yes, he's the bad guy in Catch Me If You Can, too. Really? Yeah, and it's like, just because he was I Harry never Potter. Noticed. Really? Oh, yeah. It's it's kind no, of No, he's in a movie called The Jungle. Have you seen that? Is it like Jumanji? No, it's like oh. a true story of these dudes that uh, went to the jungle and they were they <laughs> were trying George to, there? They were trying to like traverse it or you know go to some place and they fucking lost communication and he was just out there by himself and 
had to like find yes. fight his way back or yes. whatever. It was really fucking I, good. I have seen that, and I second it. It really actually was fucking good. I do remember that. Cool. Uh, Mike, you get your second or your third pick. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say just because of the how much I've enjoyed it this season, uh, Little Dicky, Little Dicky, aka Dave. Okay, Little Dicky. I guess it would be Dave, aka <laughs> Little Dicky. But okay, all right, that'll work. Uh, JP. <sighs> Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Okay. Only because like. <laughs> That dude, I bet he's so fucking much fun to hang out with. He's so smooth and so cool. I love that guy. Like all his old Saturday Night Live clips and stuff. Like of him smoking a cigarette. Just, that's, he's I, just all, fucking amazing. That's all dude. I can see him doing I is like having guy. a cigarette out here going. Yeah, yeah, I think we'd have a good time together. I'll stab you in the face with a cigarette. Yeah, guy. I think we'd have a good time. I think he'd be a lot of fun. Uh, more fun, however, uh, I'm gonna go with Bert Kreischer. Um, okay, that is a walking fucking party. Yep. Just a walking yep. party. You definitely need a nap before that. No shit. Before that party. Before I, I would need a power nap with uh with yeah, it would be uh, sleeping pills to be able to have enough energy for that. I've worked with him before. Have you really? So I've basically done He's lived your dream. I've lived your dream. <laughs> I've partied with Burt Kreischer before. So not fair. Yeah, it, it's not. Uh, it was fun, though. We had a good time. We had good shows, and I took a sh- picture with him with no shirt on. Okay. Uh, and then I'm I'm going to go with uh, probably the best stand-up comedian of all time, in my opinion. Oh, come on. Thanks, man. I'm going to go with oh. Dave Chappelle. There you go. I'm oh, gonna that's go, a great one. I'm yeah. going to go with Chappelle. That dude is awesome. I'd probably learn a shitload from him. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, JP, it is your next pick. I got two more, huh? You got two uh, more. Let's go with... Uh, I'm going to go with one of the two people that I think is one of the best stand-up comedians in the entire world. Fair though. enough. Oh, with, thanks, man. Um, I just... <laughs> I'm going to go with Mitch Hedberg. Oh, oh that's, God, that is a really good. That is a great I pick. I think he'd be, he'd be awesome. He'd be fun to hang out one with. One-liners for days. Yeah, I would love to see how that. amazing, I would love to see how that. He was so amazing. I would love to see how he writes. Yeah. You know, the, I, I just, when an idea pops in his head and he just ra- reaches for something. The dude is brilliant. Yeah. I mean, he was, he was, he was brilliant. He is. I, I quote never, him every time I buy a donut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and it and it disappoints me how little the donut worker understands <laughs> that I'm making appreciates a joke. It, yeah. yeah. Every once in a while, the guy will be like, "Mitch, nice." Okay. But yeah, when they're like, "Do you want a receipt?" and I'm like, "I don't need a receipt, receipt for, for a, a donut." donut. Yeah. You yep. just give me the donut. I'll give you the money in a transaction. <laughs> cool. And they're like, "Uh, okay." And I'm like, "Really? You don't know what the yeah. fuck I'm quoting?" Yeah. Uh, for what it's worth, I think they uh, somebody still does it. I can't remember if it's on his birthday or the anniversary of his death but uh every single year on whichever day somebody goes out and puts a donut with a receipt on mitch hedberg's headstone still to this that's day. cool i think that's pretty dope uh let's see uh mike you get your last two back-to-back picks um okay well since you guys are just picking dudes <laughs> i'm gonna go with the most attractive female in existence which oh, is obviously jennifer aniston rachel mcadams oh okay okay sure what <laughs> you don't you've never seen the notebook yes i've seen the notebook she's fucking beautiful i'm not and, saying she's not hot and she, she was in the season finale of dave that's AKA quite a Lil group Dickie. that's quite a group of people that you'll be hanging out with man yeah uh, am i hanging out with all I of them like at the it. same time that would be really dope yo yeah this is you're like walking in with a posse behind yeah, you man, man. I can't decide who I want for my last pick. They both have a lot of similarities. Okay. I'm going to go. Which one would be cooler? I'm going to go Brad Pitt. Okay. <clears throat> I'll tell you after your picks who my other option was okay. there. I don't want to put any ideas in your guys' head, but mm-hmm. that's me. That's my party crew. I'm All surprised. Right. I'm really surprised. Who did you think I was going to pick? I, I, I'll get there. Okay. I'll get there. Um, go ahead and go, JP. This is your last pick. 
Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. God damn it. That was a good pick. Yeah. Oh. God, that would be fuck. God damn it. You We'd have be, a blast. Oh. I mean, I, I might fucking win this deal. You really might. I might. You this might may be. This may be the first time in history. Yeah, that I, I just could win. I just wanted to pick people <laughs> who I could tell a good story about afterwards. Like yeah, I got those people. But if I'm hanging out with Snoop Dogg, I'm gonna just get fucking super stoned in the first five minutes that we're together, and the rest of the night is just gonna be a blur. That's gonna be a good story, though. That's pretty much my life. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I'm good with that. JP used to be like 20 years old, and then he woke up one day and he was in his 40s. So that's what happens. Uh, I'm going to go with my last pick. Uh, do I be honest or do I, I, I don't want to just win the draft. No, you got to just be honest. I know. That's what I've been doing. That's why I lose these drafts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go with it because it's, uh, he's, he's still to this day. I, I, he's a part of the bucket list that I would want to go on. I would want to go on his podcast. I'd want to hang out with him. I want to party with him and I want to talk about shit. And that's Joe Rogan. There you go. That that's that that would be a dude I would love to go and party with. And here's the thing: I'm partying with, I'm partying with Burt Kreischer, Dave Chappelle, and Joe Rogan with Chris Farley and Bruce Willis is out there going, "What the fuck, guys?" <laughs> <laughs> I could see other than Chris Farley, of course, that whole list being at uh, the yeah. Joe Rogan podcast yeah, and just that, hanging yeah. out. Absolutely. You don't think Bruce Willis would go? No, I think he would go yeah, too, but he said, yeah. he'd just be the guy that's like, and Bruce Willis is here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, all right. I mean, I'm not going to say Bruce Willis can't come. Yeah, I know. Uh, what was your, so what What are, uh, all of mine are fucking comedians. I couldn't get like, if I want to go They're and party. the most fun people to hang out but, and party with. But here's the thing. If you go with like actors and stuff like that, you're kind of falling in love with the character they've portrayed. You really don't know what kind of a person they are. Like I'm, I would love. I think Will Ferrell's a great pick too. Uh, Will, Ferrell, Will Ferrell, yeah, that. That, that is a, a good one. With. That is a good one. But like, you're not gonna pick Tom Cruise. He'll try to fucking take you to a Scientology parade. He was one of my Fuck options. Fuck that. Because I am a comedian, and so all I hang out with is comedians. So I know that they're all pieces of shit like me. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. And it's and you say like it's it's the same with actors. It's like the character that the comedian is portraying is not how he's going to be when you guys hang out together. Sure. Joe Rogan's probably the only... He's it, real. It, Joe Rogan no, is think, 100% the, what you're going to get. But. I think the people I picked are pretty real. Oh, no, I agree with you. I, I think, think Bill Murray yeah. and Ryan Reynolds are awesome picks. Christopher Walken's an yeah. awesome pick. Um, who's that? Mitch Hedberg. Oh, Head. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, he's he would be amazing to hang yeah. out with. And Snoop yeah. Dogg. First of all, you and Hedberg, all three of you guys are getting stoned out of oh, your it's mind. It's gonna be so much fun. I, I don't put it past Bill Murray at all. I think he'd probably want. So you're you're in a you're in a 420 extravaganza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I bet you, I'm just guessing that like Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt are probably gonna get into a fight of some kind. They probably hate each other secretly. I don't think that don't they, think do. they do. I think well. they're so? good friends. Yeah. Are they? I don't know, but I that's what I would like to believe. Yeah. But I'm only bringing these people one at a time to this party. Okay. As far as I'm concerned. Oh, man. I'm not going to a party with Brad Pitt and Leo. I, I'm, I'm going to one party with Leo and then a completely party. separate party with oh, Brad man. Pitt. No, if I, Leo happens to be there, right. that's not and he's no like, skin what the skin off fuck, my nose. Yeah. And no, I, that's. I just want to be the guy who, at the end of the summer, people are like, "Dude, Baldwin showed up one night with Leo. <laughs> showed up another yeah. night with fucking Brad Pitt." So, so that what? Guys made it. So, what are your what are your like honorable mentions of who you'd want to go? Will, I could go Will on. Ferrell. Will Ferrell's on there, okay? Bill Cosby, okay, uh, because he has the good roofies, right? Of and, course. Uh, I would hang out with the, the guy who plays Jesse in Breaking Bad. Okay, I think he'd be. Ah, uh, he'd be cool. He'd yeah. be cool. See, and then, like, the only other thing that goes John to John Stamos. Oh, no, no. I do not want to hang out with John Stamos. Why? He's scared of midgets. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's, like, terrified of... You could blame him. Brad Williams fucked with him one time. It was absolutely hilarious, I've been told. <laughs> really? Brad, oh, because... He told us that story. Were they at a roast or something, or what? I don't know what they were at, but Brad Williams found out because of uh, the other guy that plays Uncle Joey. Uh-huh. 
knows that John Stamos is is terrified of midgets. So set him up and Brad Williams comes into the room and starts (laughs) humping the leg of John Stamos and John Stamos freaks the fuck out and is trying to like kick him off like he's a dog humping his leg. It's fucking hilarious. I would have loved to have been there. But uh, but yeah, no, I do not want to party with John Stamos. I want to party with Nelly. Uh, I, I want to, yeah, I want to party with Nelly country grammar, that shit. Yeah. Um, I want that. I, I like, there's a whole bunch of rappers I want to party with. I want to party with Dre. I think that would be fucking dope. Justin Bieber. Nope. Fuck that guy. Uh, uh-uh. uh. no, I, I would hang out with Bieber yeah, too. No I think Bieber way. would, I think Bieber would be actually pretty dope to hang out with. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I'm out. Blood, I'm out. Yeah. Uh, Rob Deerdeck. Yeah. Rob would be cool. Rob would be ah. cool as shit. Who? <sighs> Rob, Rob Deerdick. Yeah. Deer Dick. Deer Dick. Deer Dick. Deer Dick. What is he? Ridiculousness. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, but no, there's a whole bunch of them. Like, Fantasy especially Factory. Fuck yeah. That's DC Shoes. If I had a you know, shitload of money, that's what I would do. I'd just buy a building and turn it into a goddamn adult jungle gym. It'd be yeah, fucking awesome. That's cool. But anyways, there'd but anyway. have to be a lot of conveyor belts and escalators in there. <laughs> for, uh, just for, to, I want to s- grab the thing and swing down, but I don't want to have to walk up the yeah, but big that, thing afterwards. Think of it this way: let's let's buy a big ass building and make it like a a stuntman training facility. I think that'd be pretty awesome because yeah. that'd be for adults, right? Yeah, I think that'd be okay. I I have I got sucked into a TikTok world of stunt people doing shit for and, sure. And I saw a dude uh, getting shot, uh-huh. quote unquote. Uh, was so, it the Wild West one? I think so. Yeah. Yes, and I it, saw that he's too. He's just falling like face first from like a, a high up, dude. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty impressive. I uh huh. I like that. But anyways, guys, that is our draft for this week. Uh, you can go to Laughing on the Sidelines on Facebook and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji of which list you like best. Uh, whether JP, myself, or Mike had the best list of celebrities you would want to party with uh, draft. And uh, you can also go to Twitter. I will put the draft on there as well, which is at LOT Sideline. Sincerely appreciate all of you guys who participate in that. That helps us grow the show. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by JP and his new film coming out. What is it? I got a film coming out. Yeah, you got a film coming out. Tell us about your new film. What's your film? Come on, bud. I can't do it. It's stars and stripes and you're a magical princess. Yeah. That button is being used way too much. This do, episode. I, do I have a noise um, that I can flutter to? Oh, <laughs> I thought that was Derek's noise. No, uh, that very well could be. I'm sure there's a lot of other buttons we can push, but uh, but no, you don't have a film. You don't know what film is coming out. No, nope. oh, I don't either. I just figured you had something. No, uh, I've gotten. I, you can't just put me on the spot like that. Snoop Dogg and Chronic Smoke, starring JP. There you go. That's it. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation is: Would you rather? Actually, let me put it this way. You were having, you have diabetes. You've got the, you've got the sugars. <laughs> you diabetes. Got, you got the betas. You got the sugars. Would you rather have to have all of your fingers cut off or all of your toes cut off because of the betas? But it's not even a question. It's the toes. It's not. I would go toes a hundred percent. I don't know, dude. Some people but like why? to use their feet because I like to use my hands. <laughs> I okay. use my hands way more. And if I, if all you're taking off is if you're cutting it off at the ankle, then maybe we can have a conversation. But if you're just cutting my toes off, once that heals, I'm still walking around just fine. You can't. Your balance will be fucked. Your balance It'll will be fucked, but it won't <laughs> be no, impossible. You can't walk. Well, I mean, you'll have to have a walker. Yeah, that I'll be able to hold easily with your. Hands. With my perfectly working Good. hands. Okay. I'm thinking about the science of this. I think the abuse that your your foot with no toes is like it's gonna be abused. It's got no balance points. It's going to, I mean, you're going to walk like an idiot all the time. You have no idea how much you need that goddamn pinky toe. Okay. So you you're going no with, idea. You're going with fingers? Oh, no. I'm totally going with feet. Fuck okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Yeah, <laughs> see, that's yeah. why it's easy. Because oh, it's like, man. yeah, it would suck to lose either of the, those there's things. A, but there's a legitimate argument for the hands, though. If you got your fingers cut off, everybody's opening up your ketchup bottles whenever you need to. Hmm. I mean, you can't do that shit yourself. If you have no fingers, Otherwise, you're, you're, you're using you're you, using your palms to. You have to have, you have, to have one of those off. headbands with a stick on it, so you can fucking. You, type if you on your if you don't have fingers, you need a helper for the rest of your life. If you don't have yeah. toes, that's then guaranteed you marriage. Can just sit by yourself. That means you're never gonna and die alone. I want to be able to masturbate. <laughs> well, you can do that without fingers. I do it all the time. That's fucking what? weird. How? <laughs> Dildo. I'll teach you later. <laughs> yeah, no I, shit. I'll show you later. I feel like anything else isn't masturbating. I mean, can you That's imagine? Just, <laughs> can you? Can you <laughs> what? <laughs> in the crease in your arm? I don't even think... <laughs> I don't think my dick is big enough to reach. Well, that sounds like a you problem. I'm sorry. It's can, not a problem. Can, it's, oh. can you seriously just imagine somebody for one second that's trying to masturbate with no fingers? They've got their hands. I've set. already got that figured <laughs> they out. Got like this. They're yeah. just sitting there like yeah, this, just wrists. trying to roll. That's definitely a wrists. phase that I went through when I first started <laughs> yeah. masturbating. So it's, it's a doable deal. I, I it mean, took it, me several years before I got to the tried and true. Like I did, <laughs> I did this what a lot the fuck? when I was it's younger. Oh, the claw. Really I never uh, called it that, but yeah, no, I tried the no, both that's hands. This way. Oh, Jesus. Now, my Christ. friend Austin used to have a joke about like when you're first start you're masturbating, you're like, <laughs> I'll put my dick in this book. And then you're like, no, not doing the book anymore. I didn't know. I just knew there was a slit there that I could. <laughs> Jesus right. fucking Christ. So we all went toes. We all went toes, huh? Yep. Okay, what if you had to cut the foot off? Or the hand. Or the finger. Oh, okay, we'll do that. Can or the I, hand. Can I pick one hand and one, one foot? foot? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be fine with that. If are I, you going to go opposites? Or probably, are you going to go the yeah. same side of the body? People are just going to be uh, thinking uh, hops. No, I would everywhere. go opposites because you need the cane hand on uh, the side that okay. the foot is not. That's what I was going to say. Opposites would be okay. I think people are cheating anymore. Those people anymore that have that, they're like rolling around on scooters, only they just get to kneel on it. I've seen so that. So they're like the four-wheel drive version of the 2023 like amputee. They just get a scooter. I'm just hoping by the time my, my diabetes gets <laughs> to the point that they're cutting stuff off that we've got robot parts yep. ready. Okay. Good enough. Turning into RoboCop. Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. We sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys do. Continue to help share our TikToks, which I know the uh, the rejected names for the seven doors decided to. It's, yeah, it's making a comeback Holy again, shit. Isn't it? Yeah, and how many people that. went, oh, my God, I've heard this on so many other channels yeah. with video games in the background. Yeah. No shit. They like to steal our stuff. Uh, but anyways, uh, we do appreciate all of you guys who share those to your friends and comment and tag people. That's how um, that's how we grow. So sincerely do appreciate all the new listeners. Hope you enjoyed your very first time. It gets better whenever the regulars are back on. But I'm just saying. What? I'm just fucking kidding. My heart hurts. No, it doesn't. Uh, that's diabetes, actually. That's not, yeah. <laughs> no, really, that's you guys. My, my fucking heart yeah, hurts. That's probably a diabetes. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, we do seriously appreciate everything that you guys do. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... I hope you get fucked in the ass by transgender Jesus. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> if you don't like us, tell, your, it, no, tell, tell, your, tell your enemies. Yeah, yeah. And then until next time, guys... Make it a Bud Light. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. Bye.